Take heed. That image you saw, we're going to be seeing that image again. Paul, I'm sorry. Paul, I'm sorry. Por favor. Por favor, amigo. Por favor, amigo. But I think that last image we saw of those guys in light blue who have 115 and counting charges, it may happen again. So guys, there's so much to talk about. There is so much to talk about, guys. And we're going to talk about all the, all this stuff for real, man. There is so much stuff to freaking talk about. We're going to talk about City uh, and Real Madrid. I sent you something extra to talk about in your DMs, by okay, the way. No, no, oh, on Twitter, okay, I'll get there. City, Real Madrid, we're going to talk about Foden. Silva, Valverde, Vini, Bellingham, Trump. So much to talk about because, in my opinion, I think the tie is over. Tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. I think the tie is over because I feel that City psychologically have Real Madrid. And Real Madrid, they f up by not putting away all their chances and putting City to the sword and allowing City to get back at the game, they messed up. This tie is over. Tell me, otherwise we'll discuss this. We're going to talk about pre for Bayern. We're going to talk about pre pre for Bayern. I was promised an Arsenal five-piece. I was promised a baptism of Bayern. Hold but on, by who? By who? Money mates, but you no no money mates will no money mates no, don't money mates no. don't you money mates money mates you are no money mates you are caught on in 4K money mates we have you in 4K saying that oh yeah daddy as, as long as we win we'll be fine of course as long as we win we'll be fine yes of course so, mates, we'll get to you so we'll get to why pray for Bayern didn't yield me the five or the six piece that I was promised by a boy money missing boy by a boy Igal. And by, by those guys at freaking AFTV. Yes, you did. 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 I control the narrative. I told you. I'm, I'm safe. So we're going to get to the approval balance. So guys, let's talk about. Guys, what's it called? Crunchy coconuts. Get your meal. Get your damn drink. I've, I've got my drink. I've got my damn meal, guys. Guys, like the vid? Right. Okay, fine. Cut. Cut. So I say, like cut the vid. Like, so I like the vid. Subscribe if you're new. If and remember, guys, this is this is going to be on Spotify. So this podcast will be on. on and so the use the hang, this use of hangouts is going to be podcast form. Okay. Um, what I just want to say, guys. So if there's anything you want to add to the show, feel free to send it a Dubinsky. Remember, guys, your Dubinskis and your super chats help to keep this channel growing and helps me to pay for my OnlyFans subscription to Rachel. So let's let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. I said let's start. So here's the thing, guys. Let's 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 get this on the on the road. Um, because I'm definitely gonna go first to my amigo Paul 
after I gave my take here. Here's my thing here. Can Real go through? Of course they can. Of course they can. Real, can Real Madrid still win this tie? 100,000%. Of course they can still win this tie. Will they? No. And I'll tell you why. Um, you see, City and Real have played each other a lot of times. And when you face an opponent several times, you get an idea what they're about to see. This is different from an Arsenal band, which we will get into, which is two sides who've hardly faced each other. But Pep knows Carlo. Carlo knows Pep. They faced each other numerous times. And these two sides over previous years have faced each other a lot. So they, so they know each other each, um, real well. You look at past results head-to-head, -head, City are, are ahead. So City have a much better head-to-head -head record against Real Madrid. These are just the facts of the matter. The only way for Real Madrid to have won this tie, they had to win by two clear, clear goals. And they easily could have won this game. Easily. This, this game, easily, they could have and should have won by two clear goals. You go into Etihad with, with the two clear goals, we have a tie. But this is the problem here. The problem is, not only did Real Madrid not win the game, City scored three goals. So if you're City, you are way happier than if you're Real Madrid after this game. Because if you're Real, you can like, oh, we should have won. Oh, if, so when we go to the Etihad, we know we can harm them, we should have won and everything. No, no, no. City at the Etihad and City away are two different sides. So the City side we saw in the second half is close, not even, is close to what you'll be facing at the Etihad. And that was with no KDB. I was with no KDB. So you have to understand why this is bad for Real Madrid. You have to understand why Vini and Rodrigo, why did you not take the numerous opportunities that were laid on a plate for you? Because for Man City, from a mental point of view, they're like, no, we have them. We have them psychologically. So if anything, Pep doesn't need to do anything tactically. Nothing. For Carlo, you've got to come up with something new. You have to come up with something new. Because these guys always seem to be getting a result. Remember last season, what was it called? It was 1-1. One, 1-0, one. One, Real, we're cooking, doing their thing. De Bruyne gets to go 1-1, one, one, it ends 1-1. One, one. Here, Real Madrid took down 1-0, 2-1, cooking, chance, 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 chance. Next thing you know, it's freaking 3-2. It's freaking 3-2. So, my thing here is, I just, I'm, I just call it as I see it. I said this before. Styles make fights. These are about matchups. This is a bad, this is a great matchup for City, a bad matchup for Real. Now, all because it's a bad matchup for Real doesn't mean that they can still win. As we saw with Benzema. That's the beauty about, about football. It may be a bad matchup, but the team where it's a bad matchup for, they can still turn around and win because you can never predict football, which is what makes football so amazing to watch. And the use is so exciting. You can never predict anything. The favorites sometimes lose. The favorites don't always win. But, and also, you, you don't have too many. So that is a key player and a key defensive weapon who you don't have come the second leg. So all in all, I'm saying to myself right now that for Real Madrid, you, look, you have to always believe. When you're Real Madrid, you have to always believe. And if, and if you're really like, no, we believe that we can go and beat them at the Etihad. Forget they've never won at the Etihad. For Real Madrid, your mentality has to be, we are going to the Etihad to beat these guys and to win that, that game. That has to be your main mentality. But for me, as the football guy, the football analysts watching this, it is strongly advantage Man City. Paul, talk to me, and I'll come to Ricardo. Can you hear me well? <clears throat> okay. Mm, I think instead of going in and saying things, I'm just gonna go sentence, sentence, like trying to say fact, fact, fact. I don't know. Do you like that, H? Would you, would you like me to try it? Go for it. However, how, whatever way that you feel is right spiritually for you. The plan, relax, relax. The plan today, let's be real. The plan for Madrid today was to get out from the Bernabeu. If possible, lean by a goal. 
in the best scenario possible and at the same time realistic by two goals. We have drawn. Now, Haaland, both. He, he yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Rudiger, it's like Rudiger, it's my life. He was, yeah, yeah he was non Bellingham? inconsequential. No one in the game. He did nothing in the, in the game. He said, That's real. The worst Real Madrid player in that pitch was Bellingham. He didn't understand anything. Anything. You say we lose too many. It's true. It's true. And to be honest, HH, we could have lost Camavinga, we didn't. We could have lost Vinicius, we didn't. We could have lost Bellingham, which I don't think is gonna go in the in the in the. In the I, I, I really don't think. So. I think he'll 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 turn up. Will it be enough? I don't know. Maybe he will turn. H H. We do have someone re recovering because where did too many play? Answer me. Defense. Center back. Exactly. We have Militao, set by Ancelotti, preparing for that second game. Okay. Something said by Ancelotti. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna keep going. Rodrigo today, let's, let's be real. Ancelotti cooked Guardiola tactically. Cooked him. The game tactically, and I know that Champions League is not really about it's more about the players, and that's a fact. I mean, you can just see Foden, Guardiola, uh, Valverde, you can just see all these all, all these goals. Tactically, Carlo cooked Pep. That's a fact. Today that happened. That Rodrigo from the left was a dagger because uh, uh, Guardiola was expecting Real Madrid to attack Guardiola's back with him. We punished Walker's absence. That's what we did. Um, I'm going to keep going. Camavinga, Valverde, Masterclass. Masterclass. And our only, and it's funny, H.H., because you know, you want to know another fact? The game that today happened should have happened the other way. This game that City did is what Real Madrid do every single time. How many chances did City create inside the box? One, and that was the Haaland one to the first, to the first mm, fucking whatever it is called stick of the of the goal. Then Luni stop easily. The only chance in the box. But you have Foden, amazing player, big game player, world class player. World class today. Great goal. You could have done more. Try to block it, but great goal. Guardio. Guardio. Same as Camavinga's goal was lucky. Guardio's goal, which he doesn't use his right ever <laughs> because he's left footed. Great goal. You can't do anything about it. What, what can you do? You lost the do. The, the fucking rebound went nowhere. And he scored an amazing goal. HH. I think Arsenal. Have learned uh, the truth. This isn't about all the passes you make. This isn't all about the fucking tactics. Is it? No, no, no. Do you have the players? Do you have the genius to do it? Today, it's, it's De Bruyne didn't play. Do you know who played? Bernardo. What did Bernardo do? He scored that first, that first stupid goal. That first stupid goal, which shouldn't have happened. Did Bernardo did anything incredible compared to other ties with half of them? No. Real Madrid. What's the better team today? But still, we do. And because I don't have time, eh, so I'm going to go, but I'm going to say one last fact. Because I know a lot of Madridistas will be pessimistic, but I'm not. You should never be. You know why? Because besides being a Madridista, I'm going to give you one fact. Eh, and I have it right here. Before, well, do you know what was the first time we won at the Allianz Arena? When? Do you know the first time we won? Do you know who managed Bayern? Do you know who managed Madrid? Do you know how many goals we scored? That ah. game. That game. They said, they said, the Bayern, they said, trees will burn. They said it. What happened? Four goals. To Guardiola's Bayern. In Allianz Arena, where we did ever, ever win. Bayern was our black beast in Europe. We cooked them for zero. Guardiola's team. Give me incredible. Oh, oh, oh my God. Madrid came. Nobody top believed in us in the win. For zero. You have. People say this is the same tie as the other tie. No, it's not. You say Real Madrid played our, our game last Champions League. No, we didn't. 
we played shit. Both teams played for for the second time, for the second game. And we just scored a goal because Vinicius, I don't know what the fuck is in that. Um, because Vinicius um, had, was a genius, so he scored a goal. Romani did nothing in that game. That game was no one. This game, City played. City tried to, see, this game, City tried to win. They were worse because they had injuries, because they had people who were, that, who, who, that's, that, they're a great team. It's just, this is the best football you're going to see at the UCL this year. That's oh, no, 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 it was, it was a great game. It was a great game. It was a great game to watch. At the end of the day, Chich, if there is a team that can break the most crazy record, it's Real Madrid. I don't care. Oh, Walker's back. Walker is a great, great player. We, we, we're going to win because we can be better than the City team. Same as we could not be better last year because we just simply could not. So, 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 so listen, you business. believe that? So you believe that you 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 will beat these guys at the Etihad? You will beat City at How the Etihad? I'm going to believe when Camavinga, but was better than just Bernardo? What's all these amazing world class players in, in in City in City's team? But by the way, I don't want to take from from City because the same as I take from Guardiola because I think he was outclassed by by Ancelotti. I do think the City players. Have to be like no but, but, but see paul oh. this is the key thing though that wasn't the best of city no of course well this and this wasn't the best for madrid did you bellingham appear was what well, do we, did we have militao did vini did vini make a crazy goal he had two assists but one of them was like okay and then rodrigo appeared and, and still and still they failed easy chances it's it this is not the best we can do and this is not the best city can do, so it's an open game. So, so I mean, okay. no, it's not going to happen at four zero again. It's just not. It's, it's not. Look, I put out a poll so far. We have like about two hundred votes. So I said, is the tie already over for Madrid? Eleven percent said Real Madrid will get this. We'll still get the win. Twenty four percent says That's it's funny. fifty. No, wait, hold on. Twenty four percent says fifty fifty. Twenty nine percent says advantage city percent over. Thirty seven percent said yes, That's city funny. have it. The more you think we're done, the better we'll play. The be or be maybe we, we play worse, but we get through. Well, that's what we do, it. If they, like so, okay, okay, so, so, Paul, after looking at that first leg, you still believe at the Etihad, we know how good City are, yeah. and you know you're okay. directed against, you still believe that you will beat them at the Etihad. Did we, did we lose 4-0 at the Etihad because the stadium was too loud? Not to disrespect the Etihad, the Etihad is, is a great stadium nowadays because of, of, of all the things Guardiola is, is, is doing at City, let's be honest. We didn't lose for zero because Rudiger didn't play, or because no, because we were all shit. Because for some reason that will be investigated, mm, we, like you don't you don't lose for zero because the stadium is too loud. That doesn't happen. So, um, of course, let's be real, legend. Of course, I do think because it's their home, they have a slight advantage. But I don't think like the way this game has gone, we've proven that we can beat the city. And that's something that was in doubt all the previous years, even the year we eliminated them. They deserve to go through. Of course, we went through because we are on Madrid. That's it. But there is no more to say, H. You want a Champions League? City are City are playing like a champion. City are playing like a champion team. We don't make chances in the in the box. Okay, we score two amazing goals. But no, well, we we do all your home. You do play better than us. That's what a champion. Okay. Now it's our turn. We're going to play at your home. So let's see. Um, Ricardo, talk. So Ricardo, talk to me, bro. Do, do, do you I agree with Paul's confidence? I agree. Peace uh, out. Professor. Ciao, professor. Oh. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Okay, okay. Uh, well, there was a lot of emotion in that one, which I respect. I respect my good friend, you know. Uh, but no, look, today, I don't know if I was exactly a neutral because obviously I had my allegiance <laughs> to Pat Guardiola. <laughs> <laughs> but uh no honestly for what it was that was a fucking magnificent game fun game to watch fun. um very fun um honestly i thought real madrid uh sorry man city were gonna get done by the dark arts of real madrid uh tonight I, those first 15 minutes man that was that motherfucker was rocket like that game was going it nuts. was crazy yeah, and I saw Kamavinga's goal go in. I'm like, oh, this is going to be some bullshit. I already know. Pack up the bags. What are you no, but, 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 I, 
Okay, when Kamavinga scored, no, sorry, no, no. When um, Rodrigo scored, did you think that? Oh my gosh, this is now going to be like yeah, yeah. Three, I thought, one, four, I, five, thought, one. I thought I thought this, uh, Real Madrid were going to run away with like three one, maybe a four two or something like that. Because I mean, a lot of people say that yeah, they stylistically have the advantage against Real Madrid. I think that that is true, and I think a team like Liverpool is is stylistically like the kryptonite for Man City. Yeah, but yeah. I think that when you look at this Real Madrid team, they definitely do have the personnel to be the kryptonite. Obviously, because they were overloading on the left flank with Vinicius and Rodrigo, and they were exposing the fact that they had no actual right competent uh, defender. Um, but I know, obviously, when you see a chance like Kamavinga's shot going in, when Rodrigo's shot kind of fumbles and finds his way through, you just feel like things were going to go great for uh, Real Madrid that night. But honestly, if I'm being honest, it, it was a good contested tie. I think it was pretty... Uh, I do think Real Madrid did fumble, in my opinion, because when you take a load of the chances they had, I thought Vinicius wasn't could have done better. I know Rod was, Rodrigo, has, even if he scored Rodrigo as well, Rodrigo a lot of good probably, chances. Probably got another goal. Vinicius, in my opinion, should have scored as well. Um, I mean, yeah, he got two assists. Great, the second was assists, all, but Rodrigo had a lot of work to do. Even after um, the, the, the the streets are saying due to disaster class. Well, well, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, because you can't be, you know, you think you can't be that handsome and think you're going to get away with it just because of your looks. But I thought for Real Madrid today, Kamavinga, incredible. He was incredible tonight. Yeah. I will say he did get lucky. He didn't get a yellow card on Foden because that definitely was the yellow card. Yeah, yeah. But hey, that's football sometimes. I thought Rudiger was fantastic as well. Uh, on the, no, so, no. so, so because I, th I think they gave one of the match to, to Foden. I think Kamavinga was actually the best player on the pitch. Uh, I don't think Kamavinga was the best player on the pitch. He was the best player for Real Madrid, in my opinion. So who was the best player on the pitch? In Foden. my opinion, it was, you know, it was Bernardo Silva. Uh, yeah. Valverde, fantastic. That, that's the one thing I've always liked about Valverde. Something I absolutely hate that Barcelona doesn't have. If they have somebody that no matter the moment of the game, you can't dog them. That's a proper Uruguayan right there if you ever seen him. Valverde <laughs> is that type of guy. Uh, to a many men, I don't, I don't, I don't really know what to say. The guy, the game starts. You know, yeah, he can't get a. I, but, okay, okay, see, that's the thing. <laughs> it's Grealish. He isn't Maradona. He isn't Messi. No, no, he's no. Ireland. He's not gonna do like one stall run and go through. <laughs> Just stand him up. Stand no, him up. It was so funny because then he scores right after, and I'm like, I thought honestly <laughs> after the first one, I'm like, this is gonna be pretty bad. But yes. Um, uh, for City, I want to speak on City a little bit. Yeah. Bernardo Silva from start to finish was absolutely amazing. I feel like this player as well is not getting the credit he deserves. He doesn't get the credit. No, no, I'm not I'm not just talking about oh. Bernardo Silva. I think Bernardo Silva was decisively the best player of the game today. Mm. I think the uh in my opinion, so somebody's not getting the credit is Graylish. I thought Graylish was great today. Mm. Graylish was was amazing. Yeah. I think he showed a bit of flashes, 1v1 um he kind of a bit of an old self, but he definitely did what he had to do. He knew he had to get on to try to extract some yellow cards. He tried to get one out of Vinicius, didn't really work. But he got in the first 30 seconds against Chuameni. So, um, yeah, Chuameni. Uh, I just don't understand why Chuameni had to go in the center back position. Because, I mean, I know, that, you know, Paul was saying about Militao coming back and whatnot. Do you really want to bring Militao back in that magnitude of the game, fresh from a uh, ACL injury? I don't know about that one, in my opinion. I thought Foden and Rodri... Or were lacking in the first half, but they definitely picked up in the second. Uh, I thought Diaz was fantastic. Like I, I don't think he's getting enough praise either. But this because this is the thing. I personally think the reason why, in my opinion, Vinicius and Bellingham underperformed today was because they were playing with the caution of the yellow card that they could miss the next game, right? Um, however, Diaz was also on a yellow card as well. But you have to know how to manage the game, especially when you're playing on a yellow card. And I thought Diaz today, he was fantastic. He didn't pick up a second yellow, so he's going to be there for a sec uh, the second game. Holland, I mean, what more can we really say? Uh, although I will... Really got put him in, in, in a choke Oh, yeah, that's, put him not, in a choke that's, that's not a surprise. But I will say this about Holland. Um, from a tactical point of view, I believe a lot of Foden's goal does come from the space that Holland creates. So, I mean, you can say what you want about Holland, him being, you know, just kind of a ghost. A treat trunk. It, it, yeah, trunk. for all these games. But him being constantly in, you know, in within Chuameni and Rudiger. I, if you were watching the game, if you noticed, where in and around the area where Foden scored, that outside the, the little D part, um, there was a huge gap. And you saw Bernardo Silva testing the range. You saw... 
Kamavinga and Cruz a bit confused about who was going to cover that pocket. And obviously, Holland playing at pretty much at the end of the line with the defensive line opens that space. Foden, I think just the, the moment before, he was driving to his left and he was looking for that shot on the left foot. Like I said, left foot, left footed players are a cheat code in football. Um, Foden got a clear shot. That space is not there if Holland isn't playing the line with Rudiger yeah. there. So I'll give him that. And, but I think for City, man, there's a lot of optimism because you played without, um, well, KDB got the bubble guts uh, right before the game. So uh, kind of ducked the fate over there. Um, <laughs> Walker, uh, Ake didn't play. To be yeah, honest, no, no, I'll, because that's the thing where like, they still have Walker and De Bruyne to come back in the second leg. I'll be honest. So, 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 so to get the results without Walker and De Bruyne, that's what I'm trying to it's, I get Paul, 100%. You have to have faith. You have to have belief. It's Real Madrid. But Ricardo... Let's be realistic here. It's, it's, uh, it doesn't I, I look good. I don't bro. want to put anything past Real Madrid because there is a sense of truth that if there's any team that's going to, who can actually break that type of record, it would be someone like Real Madrid, right? Yeah. I don't know if it's this Real Madrid. Maybe if this Real Madrid had uh, Mbappe, then sure, we'll be talking. It'd be a different conversation, but they don't. Um, I thought, who else? Um, but yeah, I mean, you don't have those players. I actually think Kyle Walker, I don't think he's going to be that necessary because I think if you were to put Kyle Walker, Vinicius will get the best of him. I know a lot of people like to make it seem just because Kyle Walker is like the fastest yeah, 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 yeah. 1v1 fullback in the game that he will shut Vinicius out. I don't think he would. If anything, I think Walker not playing this game was actually better for uh, for them. Um, because or, or else there would be a lot of isolation, 1v1s mm. and Vinicius. So, so, gonna... so, 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 overall, the fight comes to normal. So, overall, who, clear advantage to City, 50-50 it's, it's level. What What is the status of the tie? Yeah, I, in my opinion, I'll say somewhere between 60-40, 70-30 for Man City because they've never <laughs> lost that home to Real Madrid. Um, the, we can say we can make fun of the Etihad all you want, but that place, that place is is banging on Champions League nights, and they yeah. become a fortress at home. So I would say advantage to them, especially with the guys coming back. And the last thing, I don't know if you're gonna make this a separate topic, but Bellingham, uh, Bellingham, that was by far his worst game in a Real Madrid jersey yeah. this season, yeah, and absolutely the worst time to get it. I don't know what the hell he contributed the whole game. He had like a few drives. He almost got a gift, didn't convert it. Uh, defensively, I don't even think it was useless. Creative, offensively, they, like there was nothing on him today. And I, and look, uh, but the Spanish teams, we've had a long, well, not a long break, but we've had more rest. Rush. I think we have like yeah, 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 yeah. So, no, no, but so again, and that thing, that's too. that's not it's not necessarily a positive because sometimes to be fresh and have that sharpness can actually be more of an advice rather than I've not oh, actually sure. played for like a whole week. Yeah, we could see this tomorrow too. Like in the Barcelona game, I mean, Barcelona hasn't played in 10 games, uh, PSG just played like two, three days ago, so who knows? But Bellingham. I'm pretty sure we're gonna have a deeper discussion about that. But <laughs> you know, no, we will like after we will look at this. Him and him and Holland definitely put on their Dortmund jerseys today. So. <laughs> wow. Talk to me. You're your quarter finalist. No more. Talk to me. So okay. So no, no, no. Before we go, should Carlo have listened to you and benched Vinny, Jude, and Chomeni for this game? Well, at least too many. Okay. At least too many, I think. Because oh, I think uh, Rudiger did a good job. Well, did a was good a job. Kamavinga did a good job. Kavahal did a good job. Even Mendy was decent. Uh, Cruz uh, had a uh, good pass distribution. Uh, Valverde was uh, getting into the attack as well as you know, falling back to defend during the defensive transition. So everyone was doing a, uh, a good job. Vinny wasted his chances, but uh, he got two assists. Rodrigo was also really good. Uh, I mean, he scored. Uh, he should have maybe scored one more, but, uh, you know, neither here nor there. Uh, and the Modric made a real difference. After yes, he on. did. He did. He did. The game completely changed after he uh, came on. So, so okay, okay. But, all... do you still feel you're in this game, though? Do you, do you still feel you have the advantage? No. We don't have the advantage, but we're still in the game. Uh, uh, I think uh, it could go to extra time. In the second yeah. leg, because yeah. I don't think uh, I don't think we we're gonna you know like, like no, no, I mean, yeah, yeah. 
Real, the best chance for Real winning is penalties or maybe deep into frame. Real are not beating City in 90 minutes. That's, that's not happening. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, it could be a draw yeah. and it goes deep into, yeah. Yeah, that's really improbable because I think both uh, KDB and Walker could be back for the second leg, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I think that uh, it would be even more difficult for Vinny. And I think uh, De Bruyne would take uh, Kovacic's place, I believe. Yeah. Uh, so... Yeah, it, it's going to be difficult. It's uh, uh, as uh, Ricardo said, you know, sixty forty for City still. But I think uh, Bellingham was playing under real pressure to not get that yellow card. And Vinny, I could really see him. Mm. He was running with his uh, hands behind his back. You know, chasing players. He was. Mm. Uh, there was literally, you know, uh, I saw. A but but, of, but, but, uh, but there, was, there was that one moment where he got frustrated and then he bumps into Bruno Diaz and guys were like, "Yo, guys, chill, chill, chill." So yeah, so I think uh, in the second leg, I think he could really, you know, uh, be able to express himself. And uh, yeah, we're still in the tie, but yeah, sixty forty to Man City. But you know, at least it's a draw. Uh, I think I would, uh, I would have taken a two one. I would have taken a two one to mm. okay, Ad, but. Yeah, uh, the the problem was that uh, we were not able to uh, get around the Man City mid block, you know, of the midfield. Mm. We kept giving them the ball, and they were able to do whatever they wanted, and we were just, you know, jogging back to our own box. And you can't do that again and again and again. And sure, uh, we kept Haaland out, but then uh, you saw the kind of goals they scored from long range, you know, because mm. they were getting so much space out just outside the box. And it all started with the first goal. You know, the first goal was a real dagger because it took the wind out of uh, yes. Real Madrid. Because we cannot be, we could not be so uh, intense, you know, to get back into the game because of all those Maybe yellow because cards. Because the wins were down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, all all of those yellow cards, we cannot just uh, get back into the game. So that was the issue. But mm -hmm. I think, yeah, the the context, the the uh, the yellow card factor going out of the way, and also you know learning from our mistakes. Uh, I think, and maybe if, uh, you know, uh, Miltao is able to come off the bench, even in the second half of the game uh, next week, uh, this could be a different Real Madrid with a, di a different okay. approach. And okay, cool, uh, cool, cool, cool. still make it. Um, Smoke, talk to me and then take your dubs and I'll come out to the rest of you guys. So, Smoke, talk to me. HH, you know, yes, sir. life is difficult. <laughs> if, if, imagine, right, you ask UEFA, if they can allow you to, to close the roof of the stadium. Oh, here we go. Right. Only only to get the same result you got last year with the open roof. <laughs> <laughs> right. HH, the reality is this. The only way I see Madrid getting a result at the Etihad is if they, they bring ISIS along with them. Well, they were trying to go to all the games today, so... That was a real ghost of today. Small go for it, go for it, small go for it. So, 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 in your view, this tie is over. HH, like, I, I wish Paul was still here because it's, <laughs> it's, it's the hope that kills you, HH, you know. Like, <laughs> oh, no, no, but look, okay, I'm like, HH. that's why I didn't want to say too much to Paul, but I was like, Paul, go for it, but you see, because Smoke, I'm like, you have to just deal with the facts here. Of, look, Paul, sometimes things happen that we can't predict, but Smoke, facts are. Pep City have a great record against Real Madrid. The one time Real beat City, City should have won that game. And no, we all know that's what happens at the Etihad. So, and uh, the fact that you didn't win this game, knowing how bad your record is against City, both home, home and away, how am I supposed to have faith that Real are going to go, go, go through? Unless it's, oh, wow, I didn't, I didn't pr pr predict this. That's funny, HH. We, we're actually learning how to play this tournament because normally, for us to score, we'd have to play the perfect game. Whereby now we score us playing shit. And Paul was right. Today we actually played like Madrid and they played like how we used to play. Mm. Whereby you have these thousands of chances and you only score three goals. Whereby HH, I believe our XG was actually below 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 one. Right. <laughs> yeah, whereby, <laughs> whereby we, we go through we, we go we go through the semis. Okay, yeah, so, so we have we have we have learned, and I'm happy. I, I think we're actually evolving and, and and we're gaining the heritage of this competition, knowing that at, at the end of the day, it's our winning moments, the key moments in the UCL. Previously, we needed a perfect game to get results like today, but look at us now, HH. 
Look at us now. Uh, sorry, sorry to Madrid. Had the had the fixtures been reversed and we're going to the to the Banabeo, then it's a different story. Mm. But but come on, it was nice, right? So okay, so, 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 so with with KDB and and Walker back, easy money at the Etihad. HH, like the thing is, watch us, watch us of late. We don't have to play good to win. All I know is we will win. As for the scoreline, we do not care. We just need one goal and we go through. And that's and all I know is we will get at least minimum one more goal than than Madrid. So it was nice. Like had you guys been on the other side with the Bayern and them, but but unlucky man. It's what it is. It was nice. All right, man. Let me, let me hit this quick debate that I come to the rest of you guys. So shout out to Byron. Um HH Real need a cold blooded striker. Bell was was trash. Um no, they just need to take their chances. Well, is well you could say though, like if they had a much more clinical finisher like a Benzema in that season, who knows? So put it this way: if they had 21-22 Benzema in this game, maybe Real win like four four three or like or, or like or like four two, potentially. So yeah. Um for two sales, man, not gonna lie, felt like an L too many with the chances. If you're a real fan, that feels like a loss. It says 3-3, three, three, but based on how the game went, specifically it's being 3-2, it does feel like a loss because this feels like a massively missed opportunity for, for real. So yeah, I get that. Mio, HH, um, hold on, okay, I will save this for when we get to ban. I'll save this when we get to ban. Um, do you understand why um, for instance, Paris is obsessed with the two. Yeah. Like they, I was saying that, especially on that right hand side, they need another outlet. They need another attacking outlet, man. MC, no PRG from number five, Ballon d'Or, Victim JR, best in the world. Oh, wow. Uh, victim Junior. Victim, victim Junior. Victim Junior. MC, MC go pay back your, your friends, bro, from the UCL, bro. Um, for two UCLs, it's April. Why are you wearing a Christmas hat? Because it's Christmas every day. That's why. It's Christmas every day. And, and, ah, oh, there he is. Wait, Abdallah, so, I you, so I now you, you turn up. <laughs> now you turn up. I tell you why. I tell you this why. guy has been the nowhere. Guys, I've never the, seen the, him. The, the only reason, after I got cancelled by a certain person, or hashtag me too, I haven't been on since. I, but wait, wait, I, hold on, wait, hold on. Oh, Samasi, Samasi. Yeah, Samasi. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I told oh, her to shut up. Here, I so been it's here. fine, you're saying. No, I, I'm only going to be here because she's not here. Because I got told to shut yeah, up. Yeah, can, <laughs> can we just forget about that? Talk about the game. Yeah. Okay, okay, wait, okay. Wait, so, um, do win and neck with thank you for the dub, man. If Mbappe played for Madrid in this game, oh, for sure, for sure. They win 4 2. Madrid needs that guy. They are missing that. Haaland is trash. Vinny was okay, but they need to kill him. Right. Yeah, like Rodrigo thing, they've just missed too many opportunities. They missed way too many opportunities. Way too many opportunities, bro. Um, Primera Marmont, this is why Mbappe is needed. They could have ended the time in the first leg. Yeah. Like, Vinny is good. Vinny and Rodrigo, good players. They're not clinical players. Like, you put, put Mbappe in those six situations Vinny and Rodrigo were in, easy money. Easy it's money. Still a KD. Shush. <laughs> it's <laughs> Andy. Mbappe in this team is an easy 4 0, 100%. Well, not 4 0, but 4 2 or 4 4 3. Yeah. Some of the goals were quality. You can't say 4 0. Yeah, no, 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 like, like, Mbappe is not stopping, <laughs> that's Foden or Guardiola goal, no, um, Joshua, remember for 14 months, bro, Jude always goes in big games, let's keep it a stack, he's not a number 10, he's an 8 HH, he's a black Lampard, Jesus, if they give him the Ballon d'Or, <laughs> blow, blow the award up, the Ballon d'Or is a PR scheme if he wins it. Yeah, uh, see, I, I don't know. I don't know if he Black supports, Lampard but in October we got punked by these guys. So I don't think we're in the best. Sorry, <laughs> uh, Josh again. Foden <laughs> rides like Jesus on Easter Sunday. Hashtag Uncle Phil. No, Foden. He did his thing. Foden did his thing. Foden did his thing. Guardiol weak foot twenty five yard banger. Hashtag Croatian warrior. Why but is I, this I Croatian incorrectly? Oh, oh, Croatian. Oh, that's, that's correct. <laughs> no, 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 guys. That that was a that was a bloody good goal, bro. That was a bloody good goal. Yeah, really good. Um, yeah, that was the goal I did not expect. Yeah. Long John Silver, Professor Paul is smoking crack cocaine. Look, look, let him believe. Come on, let him believe. Now, but it's maybe delusional, but let him believe. But, but he said the same thing last time and he got cooked. He said the same I know, thing last I know, time. I know, I know, I know. He never learns. I know, I know. <laughs> Brian, last season, 4 0. Two seasons ago, 4 3 at the Etihad. Yeah, this is the facts, man. Um, So, hold on, that's about Arsenal. We'll get there afterwards. Um. 
just three. HH said Foden only turns up against Burnley and Cole. No. You did, you did. You did. No, 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 no. Yes. Yeah, I, did. Yes, I did. You did. You did. And, and he has yeah, finally so showed I apologize for he that. has finally showed up on the big stage. So prior to, 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 to doing this, I was right. Now that he's done this, welcome to the to, to, to world class di the discussion now. You can't be in the world class discussion if you're just bowling in the EPL. You need a world class discussion when you now say what's up against the biggest teams in the knockout stage of the UCL. HH, 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 look, I like Bellingham as much as nice, but Bowden came into the crib and crib walked yeah, the turf. Yeah, he did. Don't recall it. He did. Don't recall it. He did. So, like, no harm, no foul. Like, Bellingham, disaster class. Foden said, what's up? So, my thing is, for Bellingham, you better say what's up next week now. So, because, okay, I don't yeah, care. Yellow, like, say yellow or no yellow, you better show up next week. Because if not, bro, Salke, but you know what? Um, Foden may need to start at the Euros. Um, just three. Why is Haaland so effective in this type of games? Because he's, he's, he's not a good player. He's not good. He's not good. No, I, have not a okay. I, I have a controversial take. I have a controversial take. If he doesn't score. score. He's useless if he doesn't score. He's, he, it's like playing with 10 is, 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 is Haaland really world class? Let's ask that question. No one said no. 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 Scary discussions. Scary discussions. Scary discussions. Against quality centre backs, he doesn't have a good game. If you really no, 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 wait, 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 no, 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 against quality centre backs, he's a ghost. He's Casper, bro. Even Casper the ghost can can, can say what's up. Against which, quality uh, centre backs, is a ghost. Which British player was worth today, uh, Holland or Bellingham? To be yeah, honest, Chris, though, Bellingham Chris, actually did a little bit of Bellingham did, did some nothing. Yeah, yeah. Holland did nothing. Yeah. I saw yeah. Bellingham do like a little yeah. like a back forth no, pass no, again. No, no. Holland did they nothing. Both Holland trash. was, was trash. Was no, 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 no. Ricardo said who was worse. Holland, Holland was worse. Holland, okay, Holland okay, did okay. nothing. Yeah, to be yeah, fair, yeah. were we expecting anything out of Holland though? No, no, I was. But no, 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 no. Ray, Ray Cardo, who's the who's the who's the face of the new FIFA? Who's the who's the face of the new FIFA game? Yeah, it's not. A, it was. Yeah, well, it's not a FIFA game. It's, it's not. But it's not a FIFA. to be fair, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ray, Ray Cardo, if you say EA Sports, I'll go out for three hours. That's what it is, though. It's not a FIFA game. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me correct. So, shout out to Montag. Thank you for the job. Ichich, who do you blame? It's Lonen. Make room for me. I'll try to, bro. Um, what? How are you gonna blame Lonen? No. Okay. Massive mistake. Great player from Silva. The, if you talk about the entire game, Lunin is partly to blame. Overall, not taking your chances. Their, their, their attack flopped. Between Vinny, Rodrigo, Jojo, Bellingham, they flopped. You can't have... If Real took the opportunities, they win this, this game. They win this game like, what, 4-3. 4-3, 5-5, 4-3, 5-5-3, who knows. If so, the reason why Real didn't get a result was because of the attackers. Those are the main guys to blame. Lunin is partly to blame. Main blame are the attackers. Um, Timfiwe Umtambo, thank you for the drop. Mr. Goat Analyst, what will you do if Barca knock out the Prodigy and win the UCL? Um, I'll, I'll ban, I will, I will ban Ricardo, Zeman, Casey, Barry, and um, 87. From, yeah, from, 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 and, and zombies, and zombies wait, as well. Wait, zombies. What did 87 do? 87 doesn't even I'm say just, anything. I'm just saying Barcelona fans on this channel contribute a whole lot to this shit. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah, care. Man. I don't care. I don't care. Because I told you, I'm a dictator, hey, guys. We've been good to you, man. They call me yeah. H H H S H. Half Saddam Hussein. So, 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 shout out to Pro Black FC. B5 light skin tax is real. Hashtag not okay, you know. <laughs> All right. So let's let's just let's just keep it moving. Um so what's it called? Um Ramers to Resh. It's good Real Madrid to be written off before the second leg. They always perform better when no one expects them to. Ramesh, that's cool. Have Real ever beaten City at the Etihad? What is Real's record against City and Pep City in specifically? You can have all the heritage you want, all those user heels. All those heritage and those UCLs meant nothing when, when you got four pieced last season. So the heritage talk means nothing when you just have a bad record against this Pep City side man. Um, for two UCLs, hold up. What happened between Carl Walker? Okay, guys, come on. Doesn't he look like Carl Walker? <laughs> guys, come on. Doesn't he look a bit like, like Carl Walker? <laughs> okay, let's say, yeah. let's say <laughs> Carl Walker and him. Okay, let's say Carl Walker and Abdullah like, walked down in a dark alley. You'd think that they were cousins. No, no, no. I'm a man. That's true. Actually, come on. No, no. Come on. You would. You would. 
That's true. Actually, that's it true. looks it's like a. Messi, actually, actually, it looks like a cross. It looks like a cross between Kyle Walker and Calvin Phillips. I think. No, not Fatty Phillips. No, no, that's uh, actually. Hold on. I'm not that you in Yorkshire pudding. Uh, wait, Abdallah, oh, you're oh, Middle Eastern. You're Middle Eastern, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Iran. Yes. Okay, okay. So just a Middle Eastern car walker, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. Um, so, um, it's Andy. My bad, typo. I meant 4 3 or 4 2. Okay, yeah. Mr. Hussein, uh, Foden is like a white revolved. All right, hold on. Respect the bicycle hold kick hold outside hold the box. So respect the bicycle Shut your goddamn ass up. <laughs> With all the. Foden is a quality player. Don't you dare compare Foden to Ronaldo. Don't, don't you dare compare Foden to Ronaldo. He gifted Ronaldo a World Cup. Don't, he don't you Ronaldo. dare. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Until, until Foden scores a hat trick where his third goal is a overhead oh, by so okay, from out of the box yes, to yes, save his team so clutch, don't, don't, so don't you dare compare him to Rivaldo. Yes, three hat tricks in the seat. What are you talking about? Making Chess the ball before he does the basketball kick. Jeff Abdullah, are you saying that Foden is comparable to Rivaldo? No, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just saying, don't disrespect the guy. Don't disrespect the No, no, the this is not just, no. But this is the respect no. to the Rivaldo. This, this is respect to... to... Again, Foden is a quality player. Never. Foden, you will never be Rivaldo. Do you know who Rivaldo is? Never. Do you know never. who Rivaldo is? Yeah, never, know. never, I never. Like, never. Uh, Abdullah. Like, Abdullah. like, never. He will never be Rivaldo. Are you mad? Can Foden go to number 10 at Barcelona? Wait, can I just... Can I just say, he's the best player right now. He's the best player right now. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Okay, so I'm Dewan and So if Real loses Mbappe, KD narrative is done. No, 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 yeah, it's done. No, yeah, yeah, it's just done. No, we're going with the No, 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 no. If, hold up, if Real lose, which they will. already saw. No, 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 no. It's a KD. The KD, the KD, the KD narrative only exists if Real win the UCL. It gets better. It gets better, actually, because you're telling me that if Real Madrid get bounced out by Man City, these guys are going to go to overdrive and they're going to have to acquire Kylian and Bobby just to take down big Pep Guardiola. <laughs> Pep Guardiola might be the best ever. I'm just saying. Oh, shut up. <laughs> and Josh, Foden, Saka, better than Jude. Football won to today. How did football, what do you mean by no, football won today? By the way, don't put Fo don't put Saka in the same sentence as Foden. Bamba Saka, Bamba Saka, is the penalty <laughs> merchant this season. <laughs> Um, wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, so, 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 wait, hold on. Rank um, HH. Wait, hold on. HH, which jersey did Cole wear, wear, wear today? Apparently, it was the band jersey. Apparently, he wore the band. Apparently. Wait, HH, can I speak on this? Wait, wait, no, no, no. Let me come to Abdallah, then I'll come to you, AK. So, Abdallah, the streets are saying advantage City, bro. That City are, have, have, not, are in Real Madrid's I'm, head. I'm not, avoiding the, I'm not avoiding the answer, and I'm, I'm going to draw a straight line. It is advantage City. It is in our hands. It is at home. It is at home for us. We haven't been beat in the UCL since 2018 September. Fact. Check check your check the history. Check the history and check the dates. We haven't lost a game in the UCL since 2018 at home. Yeah, check that, and you can. Wait, trust I'll me. Quickly. I'm I'm so, so 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 basically, you're saying that Real don't don't, don't stand, stand a chance. So so so, 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 so I don't, I don't know what to say is that Real will be wasting petrol. No, they wasting have it. Always have a chance. They are the biggest club in the world. They are the biggest club in the UCL, the the record holders, the the best team in history. They have, if it's anyone can beat us at home, it is them. It is them. It is one hundred percent them. So f for me, I'm not ruling them out, but it's we are huge favorites. Wait, huge no, so, 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 real quick, Abdallah. No, Abdallah, you can choose no, no, to answer. No. Wait, hold on, Abdallah, you can choose to answer this or not. But how tall are you? Oh, like five. <laughs> Okay, how much is... I don't hold, know on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's not, let's not, let's not do this. Let's not. I was come trying to bring it over. Money miss. No, no. Money miss laughs first. Money miss laughs. Money miss. That's the beginning of money miss. You laugh first. Money miss. Me check why you stupid idiots. No, no. What's it called? Wolverine is my favorite character. Wolverine is like my favorite character ever. He's not fucking real. He's not fucking real. Says who? Okay. Um, um, <laughs> what's it called? Abdullah, how tall are you? Uh, how tall are you? Disrespect a Muslim on the evening of Eid. No, 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 as, as in fit and injured. Is that five, 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 six? 
I, I don't know. I think it's five six, five seven, five eight. Yeah, yeah that's know. that's not short. Four, deck. About four different heights. That, bigger height. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That is <laughs> short, bro, man. <laughs> what are talking about? Whoa, 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 whoa! Yo, Abdallah, Abdallah, you're a short king, bro. Never let anybody I'm move sure, your crown. Sure. Yeah, you're short. Oh no, no, no. Oh, 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 so, 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 hold up. Shout out, shout out to my one of my my good friends who was short. He said that one day short people will rule rule the world, whoa. and that, and that's yeah, a fact. Just look at <laughs> Okay, so okay, so okay, so okay, so, so Abdullah, so you're saying that like because no, because so, Abdullah, hold on, this is what I'm trying to explain. I spent to Paul, of course, it's Real Madrid, of course, the thing is, but Abdullah, facts are facts, head to head, Pep's City duel against head Real. Head. We have the better head to head, we have yes. the better head to head by by. By a majority, by a majority. I'm not holding. I'm just speaking the facts. I I have. There is no excuses if we don't go through. No excuses. Seriously, I expected Real Madrid to beat us, considering we were missing Carl Walker and someone else. Rodri had a stinker today. Rodri had a stinker. He had a stinker, and he's been great for over a year. So for me, it's a, it is advantage City, and it's all in our hands. And the only person who can f this up is the players and Pep, because as much as you like to classify empty head and stuff. It's it is a fortress. It is a fortress. Yeah. So for um, me, I'm, I'm I'm confident going into into the next leg and bring on Real Madrid. Um, AK, why why you saying? AK, why you uh, saying? Ricardo, 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 Ricard, Ricard, just just no, no, hold on, hold on. I just want to say one quick thing, Abdallah. <laughs> just know that you were taller than Maradona, so don't feel ashamed of your height. <laughs> um, first of all, um, Wait, how tall is Maradona? Wait, Maradona's like five five. He's, five, five, five. he's, like five, five. he's my height. He's five, my five. Height. five five. Five five. Yeah. Wow. Wait, why do they put this stuff in, in, in meters, bro? You say my height? Yeah, you're Wait, yeah, five five. Wait, what's the yeah, medical height? Wait, what's the medical height for a What the hell? Shit, Wait, he's five Beryl, four. Beryl, you're not six foot five. Relax, bro. Um, so guys, five, guys, this is a, guys, this is not <laughs> a height <laughs> hangout. This is a useful hangout. Ak, go for it. AK, actually, okay, go for it. Uh, I, 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 first of all, also, also guys, the big fit thing is, is a myth. Ak, go for it. Go yeah, for it. first of all, um, I don't know. Ak, 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 can Ak talk? Can Ak please talk? Ak, talk. Ak, talk. Oh yeah. First of all, to um. From wherever you're watching, tell the Muslims in the chat, Happy Eid. I don't know ha what day it is. Happy Eid, Happy Eid, Happy Eid. Uh, I think Eid, Eid, Eid is tomorrow for me, it's not today. So, so, so okay, so all the Muslims out there, Happy Eid, whether it's today or tomorrow, Happy Eid to yeah. all the Muslims out there. Um, so I will not dis I will not tolerate Abdullah disrespect as a fellow Muslim. Big up to um, you, AK. But on the game, um, shout out to shout out to Man City, man. I, I, have to give, I have to give them the credit because, well, he had to come back after being face down 2-1 and Foden, I, I, I'll apologize to him. I called him a small game merchant. I called him a bum. He, he you know, um, he, you know, he, he proved me wrong today. So, I mean, shout out to him. He scored a wonderful goal. Guardiol as well. Incredible goal. Um, for Madrid, the thing is like, bro, like, they had the game where they wanted to have it. City had the ball, and every single transition, they were ripping them apart. And they just, they, they fluffed it, bro. They fluffed it. Like, that, that, that's, that's Madrid's biggest thing today. Like, because, like, it wasn't like last game, it was, like, cagey. Last game was far more cagey. Like, Madrid didn't have clear-cut chances like they had today. Today, they had clear-cut chances, and they didn't take advantage of it. And then, when you don't take advantage of a team as world-class as City, will get goals whichever way possible, which is what they did today. So I think it doesn't look good for Real Madrid. I, I, I agree. I think 60-40 Madrid, maybe even 65-35. 65-35 City, sorry, not Madrid. Mm. But yeah, I think um, on the, on the, on like more specifically on the game, um, I thought, I think the thing, the thing that, first of all, I'm going to talk about Bellingham because he was, he was garbage today. And the thing that really like, the thing that really Bellingham messed up that he's been so good at this season is, you know, when 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 Madrid counterattack, mm. he is the guy that keeps the flow of the counterattack going. He's the guy that makes the best decisions on the counterattack. So, so can I say okay? Now, I I don't I don't think this is this is an excuse. Do you think the yellow card affected how no, he, he played? No, because it wasn't that much off the ball that like he was poor. Like mm. off the ball, he was still pressing. He was still trying to hustle. He was all doing that. 
yeah. on the ball, the guy wasn't making good decisions at all. <laughs> like, he was losing the ball. Like, he had zero effect on yeah, the game. Yeah, he had zero effect on the game. He wasn't keeping the flow of the transition going. So whenever you had Vinicius and Rodrigo had the ball, it was a bunch of City players and Bellingham somewhere else on the pitch. Usually, Bellingham's in close proximity to Vinny to keep the counterattack going. But, um, yeah, I think Kamavinga was quality. Bernardo Silva was incredible. Um, but as a game, man, like this game is befitting of a final. That that's that's my only thing is this. I want to see Madrid City final because this this game is befitting of a final. You know, it's funny you say that because and and that's my because a final neutral venue. We have a great game. I think that's over two legs. City will always be favored. Yeah, yeah. Based on just the nature of a two legs and that thing being at home, neutral venue. Neutral pitch that both teams are not really accustomed to one off game. We have we have a great game, but again, they should be they should be put on either side of the brackets, you know. Yeah, that so. is true, but Barcelona's winning at Wembley, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but like yeah, I think a great game and like I think the goals just showed it. Like apart from Kamavinga's deflected goal, I thought all the goals required a high level of skill to that's you know, that's Valverde goal was quality bro. well that, that goal is incredible but yeah. I think um yeah it's 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 not unlucky Madrid just didn't didn't take their chances bro and at the at the had do I think it's gonna be a four nil slapping like last year no I think there were other factors that contributed to that like a Modric and Cruz starting hmm. I don't Winter think it was I, I mean that they get that out. Well, you can't uh, just they, write they, off a four 0 as winter time. Wait, 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 look, look, yeah. wait, wait, I'm ignoring what he just said. Okay, continue. David, <laughs> wait, David, yeah, we gotta focus on Jerome. No, let on me Jerome. speak. No man. Okay, first of all, <laughs> first of all, David De Meggi and Chronic the Hemper. I'm not gay. I want to keep that out there. I don't know why you're spreading this rumor on the oh, chat. Right, okay, okay, let's, like, let's, oh, just, oh, get, let's get back on topic. Like, get back on topic. I mean, we respect the Okay, let's just no, get back on topic. I respect it, but uh, personally, I'm not it. Okay, so um, that, that that's up on the game. I don't think it's gonna be a four 0 like it was last year. I think Madrid have better play, better midfield um legs. How do you say midfield legs? But more intensity in the midfield to combat an atmosphere and a team like City. So, yeah, um, I think it's going to be like a 2-1 or a 2-0 Man City mm. in the second leg. I don't think it's going to be that much, but like I think it's going to be a, a Man City will win the tie, in my opinion. Okay, so before we get to Bayern, because I want to actually, I want to just quickly transition to Bayern yeah. and um, thinking that because because I want to oh, yeah, just like, cover I, both I, I sent you a, I sent you something in your DMs about the Bayern uh, Arsenal game. Okay, all right, let's see. So... Let me just okay. So let me just quickly. So um, <laughs> now, guys, here's the, the thing. Actually, so so before we go to the banana, so and so I ended the, the poll. Let me just look at the end of the poll right now, which is interesting. So the poll is the tie already over for my Madrid. Fourteen percent says Madrid will still get the W. Twenty-seven percent said advantage City. Twenty-eight percent say fifty-fifty. Twenty-nine percent city happy, so that was where we go. So uh, I'll, I, I'll, I think I think a lot of people are underestimating Madrid. I think. So. Yeah, like, Barry reverse ecology, right? No, come on. Man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so look, Arsenal by C. Here's the thing, guys. No disrespect to Arsenal. Am I surprised at this result? No, <laughs> I'm not. Was I was I surprised that Bayern at one point were winning two one? No, because I said this, and me and Gatlock, we both said this. I was like. It's the Champions League. I get it, Heidenheim. I get it, it's been a horrendous season. I get it to Caliban. It's the Champions League. It's the UCL. The backs are against the wall. Don't be surprised if Bayern go and get a result at the Emirates. So, first of all, there was no notion of... At best, Arsenal were just winning this game like 2-1. At, at the best. This was not going to be like a 3-1, 4-5. It was never going to happen. So, at the best, Arsenal just win the game by a one-goal deficit. But... 2-2, two, two. bro, I'm not, I'm not shocked by a 2-2. It, 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 two, two. And let's just put it to root. Let's, let's, let's keep it stuck. A better Bayern beat Arsenal. If Bayern were actually better on form and with the Bayern that we know, they would have beaten Arsenal. So this is one of the worst Bayern sides we've seen in years. And they were winning 2-1 up until like deep into the second half. So the first thing that's what this showed is that, look, 
if you're Ban, I think Ban are in a, in a great position now. Because for Ban, all they need to do is just get, just win at the Allens and they're through. <laughs> all they need to win is just to win at the Allens and these and these and these guys are through. So, and that'll be, be good. Okay, so <laughs> I actually saw the so 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 AK. I just saw the so so AK sent me something oh. which I just saw on, on the thing. So guys, did you did you see the whole thing? Yeah. Of, okay, but here's the thing: was the ball in the play? Ball, no, the ball was in play. The whistle had been yeah, blown, and then Gabriel takes the ball with his hands and passes it back to Raya. But how is that not a penalty? That, that's a penalty. Yeah, that's that's, a yeah, that's ball. Ball. Okay, yeah. Monimus, do okay, Monimus, do okay, Monimus, you want to explain that? First of all, it'd be it wouldn't be a penalty. It'd be an indirect free kick. Free kick, yes. Off of a goal, meaning that they'd have a chance to shoot with everyone standing on the goal line trying to block it. So it inside the penalty, penalty box, yeah. And and two, it was actually the ball was actually in the center of the goal. And when you're taking a goal kick, it has to be on the side of the penalty box, taken to where the ball went out. So the ball got moved to the left, and then they moved it back. So. I, I don't know, I don't know how you're calling for an indirect free kick or a penalty then. Okay, okay, look, but okay, so, so I'm gonna go to Money Miss this then basically. So no, my thing though is for Arsenal, still fine, but can Arsenal beat Ban at the Alliance this band side? Potentially, yeah, but it's going to be tricky. For me, I just felt that I, I was just disappointed that Arsenal's attack didn't make a bigger impression. And didn't put, I didn't, they don't really exploit and expose the Ligt and Dyer more. Bro, when we had the lineup of like Dyer and the Ligt, we were like, oh my gosh, this, I mean, these guys are, are screwed. So, how else they don't really exploit them that much is surprising. And let's be like, that soccer goal was just like an amazing goal. So, the time that they really broke through Bayern to score a goal was really the goal through Trossard. And for Bayern, Lerasani is a better player. This is the difference. Yes, he, he he won the penalty, but if Bayern had just better individuals, specifically a better Janabri, because if probably Janabri has fallen off, a better Leroy Sane, this is a very different game, bro. So, Monami, talk to me, your, your thoughts on the game, bro. Um, listen, good game of football to watch as as, as a fan. I'm, I'm upset they put it on the same day as Real Man City. Because mm. I, I missed that on an even Absolute annoying game. game. Absolutely yeah, I know, it's annoying. annoying. Why, why put it on the same time? Like I, yeah. I only, I only flip through, I only flip through. Yeah, I, I, and also, also, guys, here's the thing though. I don't care what anyone says. You can't, you can't focus on two games. It's impossible. Yeah, you can't. Like you, you can't, you, you can't watch two, two. Like anybody who says that, then uh, you, then you don't uh, watch uh, football. What I do is I basically watch one game, but I watch it on no volume, and I have the commentary of the other game playing. But that'll just mess, mess mess with it. But 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 even if you have the commentary, you can't really fully. Because for me. No, it's because the, the I, test. I, I know, like when when uh, when the commentary becomes really loud, that someone is gonna someone uh someone's gonna score, or someone's there's a chance on goal. So that's when I switch. But, but whenever the no, commentary, no, 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 but but okay, the, the, the point still stands though. You can't consume yeah, both no, matches. You can't consume. No, you, you, you can only you can only focus and consume and understand the dim dimensions of one game, not of, of of two games. So you have to focus on one and just see the highlights of the other, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I'm gonna miss. Go for it. Yeah, um, thing. I think in terms of what you were saying about Arsenal didn't exploit the changes, we did. HH, we scored two goals. I I believe the attack did their job today. Saka, excellent. Odegaard, excellent. Trossard and Jesus, when they came on, excellent. I mean, if you watch the first goal back, Eric Dyer gives Saka a lot of space and just says, Do you know, what? if you want the shot, we'll take the chance. And then Saka puts it in bottom corner. The second goal, Delic dives in. Jesus puts him on the floor and passes it to Trossard. We exploited the bad changes that Tuchel did make. The problem is the defense made two mistakes, and Bayern Munich capitalized on those two mistakes. That that's literally how the game went. Like barring those two mistakes and the time where they hit the post at the end, Bayern Munich didn't like they had chances where they went forward and they did beat our press really well, but there wasn't like times where they really threatened the goal. Like They did execute their game plan well, but it's just we made some bad mistakes. At, we just made some bad mistakes and they capitalised on it. That's simply how the game went. So, 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 so remember, you said that you win, you can, you can do it to Caliban, second leg. So based off of the results, 
where you mentally at for the cycle? Like, and do you still feel, oh, you're still in a good position to go through with this results now? No, it's not the best position, but it's not, by all means, it's not the end of the world. No, 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 no. Like, the game, the game is still there to be won. I think we go there, to be honest, it's weird because Bayern Munich, I'm not sure how they're going to set up. Like, to, the thing is with Tuchel, Tuchel can either go out and say, let's try and stick it on Arsenal early and try and win that game, but then leave us open for them to get them on the counter. Or he could be very tentative, he could be very cautious sort of like stay in the mid to low block and then we end up having like a, a weird game where both teams are not really trying to lose. I don't know what Tuchel's going to do at the Allianz. So ultimately, whatever he decides to do, that's where the game's going to go because they're the home team and that's what's going to dictate how the game goes. But for me, Ty's still there to be won. I don't believe that this is by all means the end of the world. Listen, I know people are talking about the penalty, saying it's a sack of dive. I've, me personally, I thought it was a penalty. I've, I've, I mean, it did look like if, I mean, he, no, he, he planted his leg there, I mean, you know, no, it, because it AJ, looked like the a... contact was not foot on foot. It was knee on knee. From mm. that distance, how are you supposed to get out, get out of the way? For, for me personally, I don't think he can get out of the way. Anyone who's played football, once the goalkeeper gets to a certain distance with you, it's impossible to move out of the way. So, okay, so because I can't remember what's happening in the United game. So, if the referee blows for full time, can he still go to VAR or he the can. game is, is ended? He can. The referee can still go to VAR after the game has ended. They decided to just not go to VAR at all, they didn't decide to check it. So, the referee made that decision. They blew the whistle, they ended the game. So, they didn't check it. And listen, I, I know for a fact that if, if my team wore white, and our names were Real Madrid, that would be given as a penalty. Relax, but, relax. No lies relax. told, no lies told. No, relax, Ricardo, Ricardo relax. you know it's true. If that relax. Was Junior. Or you wait for Lona, or you wait for oh, Lona. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on, let, wait, hold on. let me come to where. You're on 115 charges deep, buddy, watch your mouth. Wait, wait, hold on, <laughs> and Betsy, wait a <laughs> Betsy, wait a second, the game. Yo, can you hear me? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Um, so, uh, just because you guys are on the soccer uh, topic, I, I don't think it was a penalty. I was, I was actually fuming at soccer. I, I was thinking, you went around the keeper, you pretty much have an open goal. Go for it. If like, if someone uh, bumbles you out the line or something, it, it is what it is. But at least go for it. And he was trying to buy the penalty for me. That, that that's that's my my uh, perspective on it. Uh, on the on the game, um, well, Bayern in, in, they implemented the game plan that they should have. They came for the counter. Uh, they tried to pick us off. Uh, Harry Kane is good for for that as well. It was spinning our defenders. It was getting the ball. It was yeah playmaking pretty much. So their wingers were very important for that. And uh, yeah, uh, they passed on, on our mistakes. It's not like they opened us apart. They just mm. passed on our mistakes and. Uh, us, we actually managed to open them apart with uh, his, uh, Jesus with some great feet. I told you guys, don't, don't, don't write my guy off just yet. Let, let's give well, him a little bit more time. No, he's, a, he's, a, he's a good player, just, just not a, a finisher. So. Every time he's about to go in the Brick Academy, he always does something. I, I've noticed. <laughs> I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but um, yeah, no, I still hold out hope. Uh, of course, Bayern are now uh, advantage Bayern, of course. But I think uh, it, it's still, I wouldn't say 50-50, but I'll say like maybe 60-40. So, 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 which so is in, not... the, in the second mm -hmm. leg, would you, would you start same lineup or would you start Trossard and Jesus in the second leg? Uh, that's, that, that's a tricky one because I think it's, uh, it, it's the same thing if you, if, you, if you start Trossard or Martinelli. Because if you, if you start Martinelli, then by the time Trossard comes on, it's fresh. He can play. He can run at tired legs, and he's great on that. And it's vice versa. If Martinelli comes on with all the uh, the speed that he's got, then yeah, your defense they need to be on point. Otherwise, it could be tricky. So I don't really mind whoever starts. Then the other one comes on and can change the game if need. So uh, yeah. And uh, as for um, uh, Jesus, I don't know. I would. I wouldn't start him. I, I don't know. I'll just start in second leg. Let's see. 
I think uh, Havertz is good to hold hold the ball at, uh, up front because we're gonna need to play kind of on the counter. So and to to win uh, some aerial duels duels as well as well. So yeah, um, I'm, I'm, still, I'm still I'm still a little bit confident that we can go through. Um, let me come to Barry, J Swiss, Zombies, and Ricardo. So Barry. Yeah, man, another, yeah, an, another good game. I, I was pretty happy with Arsenal in general. I, I, the game plan was pretty good. When they were up 1-0, I thought they would carry on with the momentum and get a second one. But um, I just think the mistakes that they did is just inexperienced. You know, it's the first time in like 12 years they've been on this stage. So, you know, yeah. things are going to happen. And when you face a team like even like Bayern, even though they're not great, they have that experience. They've been there multiple times, so they took advantage of it. And uh, 2-2, it's great. And uh, I just want to see, like, I mean, I, 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 I mean, so do you think advantage ban or do you think it's 50 50? I think 50 50 because, see, okay, Allianz is scary, but when I look at the previous Champions League campaigns, Villarreal came in there, they got they got the tie. Um, how can I say, yeah, just multiple teams came into the Allianz and got a result out of there, so I think that Arsenal. I don't think they're gonna win in, in 90, but if I if they can drag it to extra time, maybe penalties, they can do something. That 90, I don't see Arsenal getting a result there. But um 120 penalties, they could do something. So I'm excited to see how the second leg goes. Uh Jace was way way saying, bro. Uh pray for buying. Pray for buying. <laughs> uh I mean on today's game, like I I think we all knew like Arsenal, they're, they're, they're babies in this competition. Like, you haven't been in the competition for seven years and then you're just expecting to roll over some teams like them. Look what we... Like, some Arsenal fans still haven't learned from Porto. Oh, no, like you just Jay Swiss, Jay Swiss, Swiss a girl said that after Bayern lost to Haydn, I was like, we're supposed to be afraid of these bombs. What's what no, a girl this said. Is, this is the problem. Champions League is not league. No, it's and not. Bayern Munich, their backs are against the wall now. The pressure's on them. They have to do something because the league's gone. Tuchel said it already. So the Champions League is the only trophy they can actually go for. So they're chucking all the eggs in this one basket. I'll see. Like there's there's some Ars fans that do have a brain and then there's others that just let the fan base down. But like like Money Mace didn't Where's say it? anything too Where's out it? there, neither is Betsy. But then hmm. you have Egal, you got AFTV, you got Babs, all these like. Uh, uh, dude, don't, don't forget Terry Flores. Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, that undercover yeah. true yeah, United fan. He's, State not, State he's, United not, fan. he's not even an Arsenal fan, but he's like, Can we stop is he in the closet or something yeah, being Arsenal fan? Or something? I don't understand. <laughs> but on the game today, like Harry Kane, he actually showed up. Oh, okay, Jason, why didn't he do that in Qatar? Uh, <laughs> beats me. Yeah, I mean, no, no, because because you know what it is. I mean, even it's hard. The safest penalty to take for me, I I call it like it's like the Mendieta penalty where even if it's hard to do, wait for the keeper to to move. Nah, but, go uh, go uh, the uh, other uh, way. No, no, but, yeah, but, but the issue is that some see if you're a really good keeper, see brick keepers like Loris, they make you move early. If you're a good keeper, stand your ground and you dive into the last second. But most hey. keepers commit. It Once they commit, go to the other one. Uh, that was Brooklyn tax, bro. That was Brooklyn tax. I, 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 yeah, sort of, but Harry Kane scored quite a few penalties at the Emirates, don't forget, in his Tottenham career. Mm. And he always usually goes to that right-hand side. Like, I, maybe it's just a thing, but yeah, Gnabry, he actually did something today. Like, um, maybe it was the third right image from the other day that, you okay, know, let's, let's not, through, not, like, not, proper let's Germany not. came through him. Gretzka like, also. Good game. Yeah, Gresko. Oh, well. yeah. I've never game. seen that guy play so well in my life. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, yeah, this guy, this guy was but so so it's, it's blame your fans. We no, call this guy a bum and everything, but what he turns up in all of the games where he turns uh, up this he turns uh, up at this game. Gretzka and Rhyme. I've seen this guy play well in a few years. Even in the UCL. <laughs> and and how ironic that it's this game that he, he plays well in. There you go. So. Exactly. Goretzka so, and Lime were midfield. If Sane had a brain. He would have scored a goal today. Yes, like, yes. Like I, I think it was in the 34th minute when he's running one on one, and Odegaard does clip him, but he keeps his feet up. I'm like, go down, get Odegaard the red card. Like use your use your brain. He he runs through, and then he starts just he lets three players come back, and then he starts to dribble all through three of them. I'm like, dude, you just had to shoot. Yes, you, you can outpace Odegaard. You can outpace Gabriel. You're way ahead of them. 
that's what he's known for doing. But yeah, I mean, the tie. I, I think it is fifty-five forty-five to buy. Like Arsenal still in this game. Like if it could, I don't see him winning in regulation. I, I see it going to extra time, maybe penalties. But I don't know what. Do you want to go on penalties again, Arsenal? Because that's very risky to do in the second knockout stage. Yeah. I, I don't know, but Saka, he did his thing today, but for that chance of right at the end, why are you trying, Why are you kicking Neuer? Like, let's not get... He did put his leg out to get kick Neuer. Know, I've, I've only seen it to once. So maybe I need to see it again. I've only seen it to once. So, you know. Yeah, but if he doesn't kick Neuer's leg, he's it, it's an open goal because Neuer's already ran out. Yeah. He's gone past Neuer. You just pa- tap it in, three two. Then you got the advantage going away to the Allianz. Right. So, okay, so we'll hold on. So let me come to zone business, Ricardo. So zombies, start thoughts on the game. Well, this game was very interesting, but yeah, good. Uh, great goal by soccer. Like that's the type of soccer we haven't seen in quite a while. But I feel like if going forward, if he keeps this form, I feel like he will be a real threat come the come the second leg. Uh, the first goal by Bayern, I gotta say that that kick by uh that goalkeeper, then all to rest guy thing and then all to Wait, yeah Raya yeah 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 that I that, I didn't see that coming but the second one uh Kane Kane stepped up and then that's when you know Arsenal got momentum and then the other goal was scored so me personally I kind of seen this as a tie. Somewhat of a tie because at first I thought Byron was gonna get this one like a smash and grab and just go because I really had Byron at at this one, but it, or Arsenal you know stepped up and said what's up. If uh, I am Arsenal, I would somewhat be wary because I feel like Byron will Byron will come back. Byron will come back. So you say Arsenal should be worried. I mean, I wouldn't be here's the thing, I wouldn't be too worried. I would be a little worried because let's, Arsenal is doing pretty good right now. They they got a good team, mm. but I wouldn't. But here's the thing: I wouldn't get too comfortable because even though Bayern, even though this is not the best Bayern right now, you know they still could do something. But if I'm Bayern, I would be very worried of Arsenal. That's all right. So so, cool. so let me come to. Samasi, then I'll come to Ricardo. So Samasi, I thought that you were going to get this, the destroyed, pimp smacked, yeah. and thinking on everything. And, and also, I know Samasi, think... well, hold on, Samasi, before you go, because I'm a, because now my 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 nickname is J Cole, and I'm 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 going to be J J Cole in this. Please make peace with Abdallah. I'm here for peace. I didn't so, care so to I'm him. I'm going to be my inner J Cole. Okay, so know. just as long as you are on good terms, because yeah, I want yeah. to be J Cole. Peace. A peace between Abdallah and thing. Good. Thank you. So, good to see I thought you were going to get, get destroyed. Talk to me. You should have been destroyed if Arsenal uh, didn't play the occasion. They played the occasion at the game. Let's face it. They were scared. And you could see that. And I can't believe what I'm seeing. Zane hasn't, hasn't scored in goals since October 2023, age age. And he played great today. Janapri has been injured and hadn't played good and is overweight. Goretzka, oh, wow. a terrorism a pivot of Goretzka and Lima had played. This was, this was good. I don't know what, what this was, what they drink, what they've taken, that they played good today. I don't know what happened because we have been trashed for several months. So, so, so I mean, are you, are you confident ahead of the second leg then from this result? Oh, no. I don't... It, I don't trust these players. They are... Oh, oh. oh you're, 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 you're cut, cut, you're cut. Sorry, go again. You were cut, cut. Yes, yes, go yes, for it, go sorry. for it. The only good thing, uh, thing is that Kuman is coming back and that um, Pavlovic, our midfield player, is coming back because this pivot of Lima and Goreska stinks, even though they look good tonight, but you cannot trust them. So that's the only good thing. This is the worst Bayern side post, uh, post-second World War, HH. This is the worst Bayern side post-second World War. Okay. 
when Arsenal couldn't beat us at home without Bayern fans. That's but it's, yeah, UCL Heritage. Okay, so what's it called? R- R- Ricardo, why is about the game, bro? Bayern Arsenal. Oh, okay, I, didn't I, cancel you. I didn't cancel you. Oh, I know you didn't. It was the chat. It was the chat. It was the chat. <laughs> uh, by the way, HH, pull up someone's comment. They said um, Merkel and MBS uh, peace talk. Yeah, so yes, I know. I know. I saw, I saw, I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo, go, go, go for it. Uh, can I speak after Ricardo? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I saw somewhat of the game. Uh, I thought Arsenal were actually very good in the first half. I was like a great goal. I don't know what the hell he tried to do there at the end, though. Uh, it wasn't a penalty, in my opinion. Um, uh, yeah, and that thing with uh, Raya and Gabriel, weird. But what are we moving? Yeah. We were robbed. We were robbed. Have you seen um, what the referee right, said to right. Tuchel? I will... Um, I'll be honest. Um, I think Arsenal can win this at the... At the Allianz, I don't think our, uh, Bayern have really, really been that formidable of a team at home in recent years. As someone stated, uh, Villarreal have walked in there. Um, yeah. Krip, 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 Cop- 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 got draw this year as well. Yeah, so uh, they're not a fortress as they once were. All I think I will say is that if these guys, if Arsenal don't get this done, if they don't get their get back uh, against uh, Bayern Munich, I-, I have no idea when the hell they will ever ever beat these guys because yeah I, I, I don't know is my mic okay by the way yeah 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 yeah, yeah. put it here, put it here, yeah, put it here bro but... all right so maybe some people in the chat turn up your fucking volume yeah man uh, uh no but uh I, if they won't beat byron this year i don't know when the hell they'll ever beat him because i don't expect byron's kind of like a dip in what would it like dip in quality in the past like two years or so to really be sustain further like they're gonna re-up again they're gonna get a better manager like yeah. I, I i fully believe Bayern is not a team that's gonna just sink down to the ground and bundesliga is all of a sudden gonna become competitive i wouldn't be surprised if starting next year these guys go on another like five years of straight winning so uh in terms of the bundesliga but yeah if they don't beat them now i think for mostly for arsenal though it's definitely the inexperience because they have been very strong defensively the past few weeks or something um so yeah, I mean, you look at the mistakes they made on the penalty, like Saliba and Gabriel. Like I don't know what the fuck that was. Like, come on, um, that was very unlike. So 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 the advantage ban of fifty fifty. Well, because I mean, because it's like ban all all ban to do is win at the island. So it's you on face value you would say it's advantage ban, but it's twenty twenty four ban. It's two kill. It's Arsenal, but you look at how this game went and it's like Arsenal who are the better team, should have put them away, they were actually losing 2-1 at home. Yeah, I mean, I guess he would give the slight here, maybe 55-45, but uh, yeah, Bayern Munich don't look that convincing to me, if I'm being honest. So they'll probably have their moments where they, they can, you know, make the most out of it. I think Sané, like, he's one of the better 1v1 players and players in transition too. But yeah, the final product is definitely missing, which is not really an excuse for a player of his age. Like, he's like, what, 27 now? So, I mean, he's got to be doing better. But overall, for... Uh, I think Arsenal can actually get the job done against um, against Bayern Munich. So right. we'll see. Um, AK, real quick, I don't take the Dubinsky's AK. Um, do you want the shameless uh, start or the actual like? I don't want the shameless. I want I want the actual. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but I think see, I think it was a good game. I think the thing today was simply um, I felt it wasn't Arsenal's attackers that really lost in the game. I felt like it was Arsenal's defense. It's actually a stat that so William Saliba, I think, only committed 5 fouls in the Prem in 2024. Today, he committed 4 fouls and 1 penalty. So, like, Damn. that yeah. tells you that that tells you that he's already, it's you know... Bass. <laughs> he's all... Yeah, Go for it, go for it. Right, right. No, 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 no. I'll, I'll save that for I'll save that for, for next week. I'll save that for for, for, for next um Tuesday. No, no, next Wednesday. Next Wednesday. He's not even saying city, he's saying city. Yeah, yeah. He's sit there, saying... sit there. Yeah, go for it, go for it, go for it. He's saying sit there, sit there. I think, yeah, I think it's for Arsenal it was just an oh, inexperience. I think it was Saliba and Gabriel just got flustered. Yeah. I think Kane had a good game, even even though it was only a penalty. I thought Kane had a good game, held the ball up well, laid it off to like Coman, no, not the, to the Gnabry and Sane. And I think Bayern, I think the thing with Arsenal that they will rue the most is like, bro, Bayern had Goretzka and Lima in midfield. 
That, that, that's neo Christ. that's neo Nazism. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold All up, right. hold up, hold I'm up. Out. I'm out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's just. Yeah. No. Oh, 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 am I? Yeah. Okay. It's that, that's just. A, that's it's a, 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 <laughs> the stream that, could be banned in Germany. The stream could be banned. Just, in just say it's not. Yeah, no, no. Just, so, okay, okay, just, just keep, stay away yeah. from those words, please. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so um, yeah. there was just a terrible midfield, and Arsenal's biggest regret is they weren't able to punish Bayern enough. And I felt, I think, I think, um, money may talk about what were the chances that Bayern had. Let's be real, bro. Arsenal didn't have that many chances. Like, if we're being, if we if we're really looking into it. Arsenal had a lot of the ball. They got it to Bayern's final third a lot, but they weren't able to convert many of those final third opportunities into actual chances. Mm. And Bayern's defense, which I, I, I don't know how, uh, which I don't I have no idea how that happened. Bayern's defense kept them out for a lot of period of time and took brilliance from Jesus and Saka to, you know, get those goals. So Bayern have the advantage because they also have players coming back. Like Pavlovich is better than Goretzka and Lima combined. Oh my like god, I, and he's 19, by the way. He, he's coming back. Mm. Mazraoui is coming back. I think he's their best right back. Koman and Sane as a w- duo, and we know how much Bayern heavily relies on wing play. Koman and Sane as a duo on the wings. Musiala in the middle. Muller might come as well as a bench option. I think Bayern. I think Arsenal had a very good opportunity today to come back to the go to the Allianz with a win, and I don't think they got that. I don't think they were able to do that opportunity justice because of that. I think Bayern have the better chance at the Allianz. Um, real quick call, real real quick, and before we get some debates, a call thoughts on this though, the game. Yeah, H H. Um, yes, that's my name. I thought you were leaving Bayern, call. Sebastian, by the uh, way, so, I, so, no, I'm, so call you're still, you know, call you're still a free agent. You're still a free agent, so go for it. You're as a free agent, so the game. yeah, as a as a as a free agent, but uh, um, it's I was sad. Um, I was really sad because I'm I'm sick and tired of it. I'm really sick and tired of it. Um, I don't know why. Uh, we can make. I don't know why a coach doesn't understand simple things. For example, HH, you are seeing the pressure being mounted on you. You are leading 2-1. You have um, a player in a guy called Sane, uh, who obviously, yes, I understand he gave us the penalty. I give you credit for that. Yes, mm. fine. But you have to do more you have to you have to you have to shoot the ball at that situation like no one no one has to tell you this this is like he's been trash yeah and 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 hh i've said this time and time out so you being the coach the guy who's on zombies um avr you being the coach you should know that okay he is the reason why Arsenal is mounting pressure on us and Arsenal is getting the chance because he keeps spoiling those chances. He keeps spoiling those chances. HH, if we... and, so and Do you feel you have the advantage in coming into the Alliance? Yes or no? HH, this is, this is the problem right now, you know. Um, I, I want us to go through, but Tuchel makes it harder and harder to see us going through because I look at these players, right, HH, and just a common lead, a common two-one lead. They can't, they can't even keep it. They can't concentrate for just a, a, like a forty-five minutes. Just concentrate for another second half, forty-five minutes, and then you get a dub. They can't do it. Eric Dyer is trash, HH. Oh my god, Eric Dyer is trash. I am sorry. I am sorry. That is the worst player I've ever seen Donna buying a shirt. Okay, and wait, hold on. Yeah, wait, let me quickly get this done. Him and, him and Davis cannot start at the Alliance. Him and Davis. All right, so Who actually, so let me Who go back to some of the details that I missed here. So where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, what is Holland? He just said Emirates. So Wing said Emirates was as loud as a South American stadium. I had it on mute. Was the Emirates actually loud? 
Yeah, they were popping off. Yeah, man. they were really loud. Look, man, it's it's UCL Knights, man. It's UCL there Knights. One, there is one thing we haven't talked about about the Arsenal game. Which we're not buying fans at the stadium. Oh, 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 okay, so okay, so, okay, so why were in, so I I I've forgotten why we're not buying fans at the stadium? Because, because the last oh, in the second leg. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. The, the flares, the stuff. Yeah, oh, the flares, flares, the flares, the flares, the flares, the flares. So that's what I got there. By the way, did, did Kim K attend our game today? Because maybe that's why we didn't win. <laughs> please, <laughs> please, let's not, let's not. A uh, shout to me, your oh, HH Harry Kane. What a player! One of the best players on the pitch. Really, Holland, watch and learn. Musiala, Bola, individual players showed up. Bayern in a semi. No, look, see, I think. It's Still, it's still 50 50. It's for not, me. For, not for me. I've no, I'm gonna say that it's like 55 45 in favor of Bayern. Um, but I think that's no, 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 no. Kane did this. I think the Bayern players they put up a solid performance. I think they really put up a solid performance. And Kane's passing coming in deep, Lingard's passing was actually really good. If Leroy Sane was better, if Sane was just Sane was just the guy that really let down Bayern, yes, he helps to win the penalty, but if he was just better ban 1000 percent to win this game so basically if you replace sane with peak robin or oh, this would be an easy job for for, for ban but an easy job for ban unique bro um mm-hmm. so what's it called uh shout out to um oh what the hell so wing says samasi lost her aura once he found out she's white what Okay, look. I'm not white, man. Wow, wow, wow. I don't know. Okay, don't even respond. Wait, right? wait. I don't even know what color she yeah, is. Wait, so you wait, don't wait, even know. Yeah. Yeah. So, wait, okay. Eid Mubarak to my people. Jesus loves you. <laughs> yes, such a weird uh, guy. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yo. Yo. Oh, yo, Wing. Yo, Wing. Respect, respect. This uh, guy. Okay. What's up, Wing? All right. What's up, First, so, so before we even go, no, 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 I know he's a fan, but that's a yellow. He misses the next match. 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 He we know what he was trying to do no, because no, he was no, trying to be smart. No, because no, no, knowing no. Wing, we, we know we know no, what was Wing's to, mentality you was. To, so. You have to rescind the yellow. We were trying to instigate. No, 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 no. Because no, I know what Wing's mentality no, was. I can't rescind the yellow. No, 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 no. Var has reviewed it and says now Wing is a prick. So yeah, we'll continue. So <laughs> was he trying to was he trying to provoke or convert? <laughs> Zot. Okay, no man. Okay, that's a yellow. That's a yellow. No man. That's a yellow. I mean, guys, that's just show. Show. Shout out to Zot and TV. Thank you, Drabinski, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thankful to you. Yeah, twenty dollar Drabinski. Chelsea. Oh, sorry, Arsenal's. <laughs> Uh, the good old days. The good, the good old days. The good old days. The good old days. Don't worry, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. Don't worry, we'll be back. We'll be back. Arsenal's best team versus Bayern Munich's worst team in the last 20 years. You no, bombs are at the crib and struggle. Arsenal will choke. UEFA need to change the TV schedule next season. Why are two games at the same time? Kept switching between games. Ten... Okay, here's the thing though. How Look at this guy, man. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. How... United, bro. <laughs> ten, ten bags. Shameless out. guy. Shameless. <laughs> What does ten bags mean? What does ten bags? You don't want to know, bro. I think Okay, so okay, so okay, so okay. How would you solve the whole thing? Because you can't put the game on unless you play the game earlier. So yeah. let's you have one game at five forty-five and one game at eight p.m. Like yeah, six p.m. and nine p.m. Actually, actually, Australia, why don't they do do, do that? Because the yeah, prime here. time is uh, prime time. Twelve p.m. in the U.S. is in prime time. Three p.m. in no, the no, U.S. No, 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 no. But the thing is that you know they do those early kickoffs in the usual group stage. So yeah, my thing though is not, because that's because like for example they do it for like Eastern Europe because the time difference is too like if they did it 3 p.m. in Eastern Europe it would be like 12 a.m. there yeah like, and like in Istanbul it would be like 12 a.m. Some of those early kickoffs they're pretty shit games. Yeah, that's okay. True. So exactly, it's, 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 yeah. okay. That's so how do you solve it? No, no. Okay, I think the 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 best way is and this may sound harsh. 
there is put it, put, okay for instance like if i was doing this shirt right now i would say atleti dortmund real put thingy monday. put it on a monday no 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 games happen on a monday yeah they games happen on monday ucl wait nah, UCL on monday. no I think keep it as it should. I don't think there's anything. No, because yeah. if you're going to do Monday, you have to do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So then how are you going to rotate all the teams? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, I, I think they, could, they should keep uh, it so, so, so shout out to um, Football Jean. First dub ever. Welcome, welcome, bro. Thank you for your dub, bro. I hate those... Bo sorry, I hate Arsenal, but they are dark horses. No, yeah. Wait, HH, I have a, I have a wait, question. Wait, 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 but, hold on, hold on, yeah. but I've always said that Arsenal are dark horses, and I, feel, I still feel like if they are... An outside threat to say what's up, but the issue is that this result puts them in a very tricky situation now. But if Arsenal beats Bayern, they face City in the semis, and Arsenal and City you sell semis over two legs. Hey, this hey, will relax, the season. Relax. It's interesting. You still have to beat Real Madrid. Relax. relax. Oh, wait, wait. Can, uh, it, it. I, I have no, a question for you. What, um, what are you saying? You know, you're good when Terry Flewers is his. I just saw his video. His title is Arsenal Robbed. Um, oh, do you, you have anything to say? Question mark. So, 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 shout out to the streets. So, shout out to the receipts. So, 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 I put as a post who has the advantage after the results? After who has the advantage after this result? 18% says Arsenal still pre for Bayern. 31% say 50-50, 51% Bayern, pray for who? So Bayern has the result. So now, I don't want to be disrespectful. No, be disrespectful. So, no, no, I don't, no, no, I don't want to be disrespectful to thingy. So guys, are Atleti going to put Dortmund to the sword here? 100%. 100%. Oh my God. So, 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 I, I, so, um, I why do you say 100% that let's go no punk oh, Dortmund? Even though <laughs> Dortmund topped the group with PSG, AC Milan, and Newcastle. Oh, we're talking about Bozo yeah. FC. We're talking about Bozo FC. Okay. Like, literally, they have no chance. Uh. No chance. No chance. Simeone is the superior guy. I, I see. It's all in their hands. It's all but done. Trust me. I, so, oh, okay, oh, cool, oh, but, but, but oh, remember, yeah. Dortmund are very good. Put it this way. Do Atleti need a big result at home, or do you think that no matter what, they can get a result they can, in Dortmund? They can stink it out, and they can stink it out. They can get a nil-nil draw. At, uh, what's it? No, or stop it. No, nah, nah. no, no. Okay. So he says if they get a zero-zero draw, if, if they can beat Dortmund outright it, in Germany. If anyone could, do, if anyone could do it, it is Simeone. He can stink out the gaff in Dortmund, and he'll be fine. I, I, I trust him. He's, they're great attacking now, and they're great mm. defensively. So. No, if anyone could do it. It's, 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 no, 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 it's very good. So, okay. It's me only, 100%. So, so, okay, okay, so look, so, I mean, like, I mean, like, JJ Twist, and if this, so, since this is what, like, your, your sister club, so, with regards to your loan. No, it's my only childhood club. JJ Twist, with regards, with regards to, I know you're your United fan, so, regards to your second club that you're out on loan with, and I think the loan period actually expired months ago, but it is what it is. <laughs> People don't actually listen to loan periods anymore during this transfer window. Do you feel that Atleti, they need a big results? Because Dortmund, say what you want about Dortmund, they are good at home. So do you think that like Atleti, they need a result in the, in yeah, the first they need, they need at least two goal margin. Because it, we're playing at home and then we've got to go away. And I don't know what Dortmund's record is in their stadium, but I don't think they've lost in a knockout Champions League game for quite a while now. They have a good record there. I know this is in the Hello. Dortmund of old, but they still have players that can hurt. And, and it's a crazy crowd. That, that's a crazy crowd as well. Yeah, exactly. And... The defense, defense has been an issue all season. Like we're good attacking, but we leak goals everywhere. Like we're yeah. going to see Savage, Savage in big twenty twenty four. This guy's gonna get yellow card instantly. Maybe, maybe it's good he gets yellow card because he might get suspended for the second leg. So that could be an advantage. But yeah. we they need to win by at least two 0 in the first leg because I don't want any one goal margin because then. I'm for this, I'm very confident Atleti will win. Like basically, if Atleti don't win this, this ties over. If it's a draw, if anything less than a win, this ties over. A win, okay. Let's see. If it's like two one, I think everything is interesting. I think for Atleti, I think you're right. A two goal deficit that's is a good foundation to, to go with. But anything less than that, if it's a draw, pff, yes. now it's dominant not winning. If yes. it's a draw, that's a horrible result. We we have the chance till the to kill the game in the first leg. Whereas making that second leg redundant, we can't be walking in with getting a draw at home is 
it's a, it's a loss because we don't have that advantage of playing first away at Dortmund and then going to the Wanda. Playing the Wanda first and then going to their stadium. They have a good record there, so yeah, it's yeah. Be tricky. So it's pray for Dortmund. No, 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 that's it. <laughs> the, no, no, it's, the, the prayers only concern your fan base, bro. That's only concern uh, your guys, fan base. I'm not even involved in those conversations. These people are <laughs> dragging me into this BS, man. Look, you know, just I still can't believe Wings yeah. put that, that dope down, man. Um, Barry, <laughs> pray, talk to me. Can I speak yeah, after that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barry, go for it. Uh, can I speak yeah. after that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Barry, Barry, Barry. Oh, okay, guys. Yeah. I don't know what game I can expect tomorrow because Atleti, since the Inter tie, they only played two games. So I don't know really what Atleti I'm going to see. But Dortmund, like, don't underestimate them. They have a good foundation to do well in this UC. Like, their defense has been solid throughout the campaign. And look, in their mentality, they just have to play well, settle at the Wanda, try to get a, a, a affordable result to go back to the house. And for Atleti, you're going to have to go all out. So, so I mean, is, is Griezmann under the microscope? Does he have to perform? And if he doesn't perform, do we get yeah. to clown him and call him a, a side chick? Yeah, because... Oh, I, I why are it. we doing this again? Yeah, no, we are. No, 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 we are. We are. We are. We are. No, I'm not, not, not side chick, but listen. All four teams have a good opportunity to make the final. So, Griezmann, Barcelona, PSG, they have to make it. But does Griezmann have... To, is there pressure for Griezmann to show up in this first leg at home, knowing that Atleti need a result? Yes, there is. It's a big game, so... It's, and he's a great player, so I expect him to show up. So, you know, I'm excited to see what happens tomorrow in that game. I don't, what, what, what about the Jardinsky? The what? The Wait, Jardinsky Polish, Sanch. Huh? Sanch. Jardinsky Sanch. Why did you make him Polish? Angelini, the Sancher. The Sancher. The, the Jolly Sancher. Okay, um, so, so, so we're, we're seeing about the game. Can you bring up Sadiq's comment? Um, I think. No. <laughs> I think Dortmund <laughs> are getting destroyed. Uh, so, 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 wait, wait, hold, hold on. Destroyed? How? Whoa. Uh, Dortmund are bad at it. They are just as bad as Bayern. No, 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 no. But, 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 no, but okay. Wait, 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 wait. So, so remember, this, this, is, this is two legs. So you said in this first leg, they're going to get like this destroyed, like 4 1. 3 1. Yeah. Yeah. I, Emma Chan, Phil Krug. That's crazy. Schlotterbeck, all the, they are bad. Schlo, especially Schlotterbeck is a horrible defender. And they have, is Griezmann back? Is Chris, if Griezmann is st stuck. Yeah, he'll play. Yeah, yeah, he'll be there. He got enough yeah. rest. Yeah. So it's over for Dortmund. They probably, uh, at home, they're going to throw, but at the motor. Metropolitano, it's over. No, they're not going to win. It's going to be like 3 1, 4 1. Somebody is gonna make a big mistake, probably Sule or Schlotterbeck, and then they're gonna. Um, no, but what if we see Prime Homos again? You know, Homos. Prime, we're Prime Homos in 2024. Wait, uh, what happened in that buying game? What happened in that buying game? Uh, start for Chelsea, those people. It's it's in bro, I, start, I, I start for Chelsea, and I think I have a heart condition, bro. So. It's it. In big games, Homos is so. actually very good. In, uh, against the little clubs, he's bad and slow. But at the gifts against Bayern and the UCL is actually good. So if if Prime Hummel shows up, they may have a chance. But I don't think they have enough quality overall to beat Atleti. Splash net's crazy. Yeah, I'm looking. I'm, I'm oh, not, what's it called? Um, AK. Net. AK, wait a second. AK. Uh, 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 before I speak on the game, can you zoom into my AVI, please? Before I do that, splash. I'm not going to bring it up. That's that's a yellow. Splash, <laughs> that's, that's the red, red man. That's the red. Yeah, yeah. That's you know, you know that I could be red, but what's it called? His you know yeah, black tax, yeah, nah, nah, Africa tax, you know Congolese, man, all that kind of stuff. Bro, so, that's so um, AK, wait a second. Yeah, AK, wait a second. Can you zoom into my AVI? Um, <laughs> splash. <laughs> Is that Calisto? Bob, yeah. Did you have a condition? Did you have a condition? Someone said, 
<laughs> yeah, um, first of all, um, I apologize for your condition. Hope you get well soon. Uh, <laughs> Wait, they can't, they can't solve all day. <laughs> I'm, telling, I'm, I'm telling you right no. now. Who just after, no, 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 no. After, after what Splash posted, if anybody starts calling me He Man, <laughs> you're, you're, I'm, I'm going to be right <laughs> Everybody starts. Everybody starts calling me Hickey, man. I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a red card. So. Can you, can you bring up, uh, can you bring up Sadiq's comment, please? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I mean, it is Sadiq, so it does make sense. Yeah. So, um, um, yeah, but on, on, on Dorman, bro, I, I don't know why people are doubting the Sench. Fe- you mean in the happened. first leg or for the tie? Remember, the tie. remember we're talking about the first leg. No, for the entire tie. But no, 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 no. But I want to focus on the first leg, though. In the first leg, I, th- I think he can do something. I thought his defense isn't like formidable. I, 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 I'm gonna see. I'm gonna pay close attention to Jad. Um, and if all I'm saying is, I think Atleti will win because it's at the one that they've never lost there. But I, I, I. I've, if the Jad gets to a UCL final, if the if I see the Jad at Wembley, because I'm a, I'm I'm trying to go and get tickets to the UCL final at Wembley. Wait, if wait, I so, see hold the on, Jad, so, uh, wait. So we're saying are we saying we're saying Dortmund City UCL UCL final? If the Jad dunks oh on Pep, God. if the Jad dunks on Pep, H H, you you have to become a roadman. <laughs> Oh no 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 no! I'll 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 rep South South on fully. No no, but, okay. But in this game, do you, do you see Atleti winning? Yeah yeah, I don't but think. But what think do you, how do they win? Two yeah, one three two, one two nil, two nil or two one. I think Dortmund will score, but Atleti will just you know have that extra quality that Dortmund don't have. But I, I want to speak. I I know we're gonna get to this here, but I really want to speak on the tie after because I have some very interesting narratives that oh, yeah, you yeah, might sure. you know. All right, zombies. Before I come to you, I don't know what this is. All right, shout outs to the. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, that, zombies. That, that, that's that's uh, the Nigerian rapper, right there. Um, so yeah. zombies, this game. Talk to me, man. Yeah, DJ the kid. All right, but anyway, uh, if I'm as lucky, I'll do a smash and grab, just two nil, and then just call it a game. Like I see, athletic, athletic are winning this. But, but but no 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 no. I think we all agree. I think we will, they will agree. But the key thing is one zero two one three one four one because a one goal deficit, as in two legs, that's fine if you're Dortmund. So they really do need like a two goal deficit. Yeah, and then I can also kind of see Dortmund, you know, getting a goal too. Like if I'm Sancho, I would I would like literally try my complete hardest to like carry, carry this team. Like, I would do an Mbappe if you really think about it. Like, you're going against a very tactical defensive team if you think about it. And if I'm Gre- and if and if I'm Griezmann, I I would I better I better step up against Dorman. It, it honestly it should be easy for him to do this. But if he don't, and if by some chance Sancho does dunk on Griezmann, then I don't know, man. We 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 need to we need to have a conversation about the second leg because if by some miracle Dorman actually do this, this mm. this could be crazy. All right, so let me quickly hear this Dubinsky's man. Um, shout out to David T. I ain't reading that in the in the brackets. I'm I'm not. Um, we can't have back to back troubles. Hashtag Alamo in Madrid. So David T, you're on loan. No, no, no. He, he, he's a United man. He just say like. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Um, they, they, they they look, bro. The, the way things are looking, guys, I think I think we are I'm getting a bad bad trouble. Yeah, oh, we're no, getting a bad bad trouble. Oh no! Because my next next thing is with you. I told him. Jaco apologized for. Oh no no! I saw I saw his tweet. I saw his tweet. Jaco. I saw his tweet. No no guys. Bro, what he has done. Let me see. No, because because guys because what's so busy on Thursday we're having that rapid discussion about J. Cole this Thursday on the other channel. So on the other channel, oh, I've already can, said it. Can you switch it to Friday, channel. please? Oh, no, no, no. Friday, I, I'm, I'm busy. I have Friday, an exam. Please. I have an exam. I need to speak on this. Oh, no, no. no Friday, I'm, I'm busy. So I, I could only do it on Thursday. But my thing, though, is that, bro, I have never seen a rapper receive this much abuse. <laughs> I just want to say before. It's, it's bad. Like, so. No, no. Bear to worry. So. We'll, we'll, we'll talk on Thursday. We'll talk on Thursday. But basically, 
Last 50 days, I've, I've, I've felt bad. I think he's Last German, days, too. Really he's German. He's German. Yeah, yeah, he's half German, half German. Um, half hope oh from the future. God. Jad dunks on Pep and Rance becomes... <laughs> 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 no, what I want to understand is that how does Rance become so how does Jazz, how does double winning lead to Rance, a a full on black man oh. becoming prime minister of England? Imagine uh, Rance becoming party. prime minister but... because he reps Jaden Sancho like I don't know, man. Um, okay, Gatlo, this is crazy. Slots are back and hump mills in defence. Oh my God, Gatlo. <laughs> Emojis are also um the emojis are also um I know. Yeah, that's... Um Jibs, such ass hype in twenty twenty four. Respect the jazz, respect the jazz. <laughs> it's it's just in fan, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Um Genuine. all right, so um Barry, is the mic walking there, Barry? Yes, sir, what's up? Um now here's the thing, Barry. Yeah, what's up? Now, but remember, I know that you've got French allegiances, so yeah. really, you should actually be supporting both of these teams. Because on one hand, we have Barca, we have Javi, we have Lamine Yamal, we have the Javi <laughs> narrative. On the other hand, we have um, the Prince of France. That's what we have on the other hand and everything. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Is that Rafi? Please don't tell me that that's yeah, Rafi. Wow. Oh, my God. Wait. He's a he's a he's a rapper now. <laughs> we want to do a collab with, with Memphis. I mean, that's the Brazilian two. No, 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 bro. bro, wait. <laughs> bro, bro at this rate, if if J Cole wants to answer back, I'll take my chances with Rafinha. I'll take my chances with Rafinha. Yeah, yeah, same, 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 same. <laughs> okay, look, here's the thing. Okay, um, I when this draw was made, I did say that you know Barca have a great opportunity. <sighs> PSG need a result in this game. And why I like this is that I just don't know how these guys will line up. Because the last time PSG, I think, I believe the last time PSG faced Barca was Miracle at Camp Campano. No, yeah. we got, uh, no, we got, no, nah, they got Laura Croft that. Oh, yeah. yes, yes, yes. And um, PK um, trying to grab Mbappe. Okay, yeah. But still, even if we look at oh. that game, a lot of the players especially from Barca are not the same as the players now so it's still a very different kind of a team um look the the issue with this is what the issue is PSG are are Mbappe are bust Barca are a team even though Yamal is very important Barca it's still a well-oiled team and a unit PSG some quality players Zara Emery huge fan of him it's still freaking all relies on Mbappe so if Barca can just sort out Mbappe, keep him quiet, reduce his influence, I think Barca could, could get a result here. So this feels this feels like a like like a two two. This feels like a two two. Okay. Maybe two one to PSG. Okay, two two. Barry, what 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 are you saying, bro? It's just man, I, I'm scared, bro. I'm a bit scared because he, this is the thing. PSG is definitely not the best team in the tournament. We can all agree. Madrid mm. are better. City are better. Arsenal, I think, in over two legs can beat them. But for Barca, this is the worst matchup because all season, our thing that we struggled the most was the transitions. And PSG, they're so great at it. Dembele, Moani, the best player in the world, Mbappe, that's their bread and butter. That's what they're good at. So for Barcelona, it's to Araujo, Kunde, you have to be on your best behavior. Watch Mbappe all times. If he gets just a little bit of space, he's going to kill you. So for Barca, obviously we're going to have the ball. We're going to have possession. So make sure that when you lose the ball, get back in defense quick. Don't let time for them because they're going to go quick. So be disciplined. Don't leave them a lot of space and you can do something. I'm not – I don't think we're going to win. I think it's a bit of a stretch if I say – So, oh, so, so, so what, what would be the – what do you think the you best mean, possible result is, you think, to go, go back to a draw, Like a 1-1. One, one. Give me 1-1, one, one, we can go spin and finish it off. But just to, I, I just want to see a good performance because the performances are going to dictate my perspective and prediction on how the second leg could go. But for, P, for Barca, just be disciplined. Don't lose the ball in dangerous spaces. And I think you can do something. That's nothing. 
Um, Zombies, what are way, way saying? Are you, are you confident? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm confident in a way, but I'm also, you know, quite nervous about this one. And, but like what Barry said, if if I'm at Ajo and if I'm Kunde, I my best bet is to watch Killing Mbappe. If if you have to, like, pretty much like super guard him, like to the point where he's not getting any chances or any space because you you get all, all it takes is one inch. And wait, 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 hold on, wait, 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 hold on. I'm putting up the this poll. 35% say Basso W. Guys, you know that the first leg is, is in Paris. Yeah, we're not playing him. <laughs> yeah, we're not. What? Yeah, so, so okay, maybe you guys were, were confused. No, guys, the first leg is in Paris. I mean, it's, it's the did, Madrid fans in the chat. <laughs> oh, yeah, it yeah, maybe we could be. Like, wait, wait, did, did people realize just... that this was a home game first before yeah, you said this? Yeah, we're not playing at Creep, right? Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we're not wait, wait, actually, hold, 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 zombies, continue, zombies, continue, zombies, zombies, zombies. Anyway, but yeah, uh, like I said, you you give Killing Mbappe one inch and he's gonna take him out, and majority of that he's gonna score. But also too, if I'm jo John Casello, I will keep my eye on Dumbele because with Dumbele we know how he is with one v ones. He's really good at it, so I would keep an eye on him as well. But other than that, as far as the midfield is concerned, I would play Andreas Christensen, I would play Gundogan, and I would play Frankie. That would be your best bet as a midfield. And then as far as the attacker wise, I would keep I would play Rafinha on the left and then keep Yamal because Yamal's pretty much gonna start that game. Like we all know what Yamal can do. And I hope that, you know, he dunks in the back because I really want to see that. But I see this as either one nil Barca, or like what Barry said, jaw jaw. But if I'm PSG, considering the fact that you're playing at home tomorrow, I, they, I they, they have I, to win. PSG have to win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would do a smash and grab, like smash and grab, one nil or two one, however you want to do it. But more than likely, I would see Mbappe pretty much doing like what he did at the World Cup final, pretty much carrying this team. Because um, let's uh, not forget he. Okay, so okay, so let, let me so so eighty seven. What 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 are you saying? Eighty seven. Oh, this is this is a really interesting matchup because I feel like both teams are crying around the same level. If you been if you look at the team wise, you combine the and everything. Uh, the thing is, PSG have arguably one of the best players in the world, Kylian Mbappe. Um, Barcelona, I don't think there's really anyone in this team that's like currently best in the world. You can make. I don't think there's anyone really. Maybe Gundogan is probably the closest, but like there's no like he's not like standout, you know. Whereas PSG and Bobby's like stand out, you know, mm -hmm. um, for sure, you know. Um, but what worries me in this game for Barca is in transition because Barcelona has been really bad against teams that play in transition and counterattacks. And I think that's a really worry. And I don't know if you guys know this. There are seven Barca players that are risk of suspension for the second leg. Oh, yeah. 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 Whoa. Seven? It's seven on the yeah, line. Seven, seven players. Yep. Seven so players. Like, players. An example, if five of them gets like another yellow card, we pretty much lose five players for the next game. Is Sergio yeah. Roberto one of the seven? Uh, well, yeah, he is. Um, oh. No, no, no. That, 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 oh, that's oh. a disadvantage. Hey, oh, no, 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 that's key. Because I could definitely see Sergio Roberto. So even if it, well, there was a, it's not Camp Nou, though. It had been, it, it, it'd been not creepier if it was still at the Camp Nou and it was PSG. Then you'll get the whole 2017 vibes. Yeah. But go for it. Um, yeah, and then um, I think there's some crucial players. Like, I think Araujo is on a yellow. I think Dion is in a yellow. And I think Yamal is on a yellow, I believe. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah Yamal is on a light. Yeah, he's on a yellow. Oh, he cannot get the second yellow. Yeah, so, so it's like, it's, Yamal, it's not like. Be very careful. Look, yeah, AD, like... 87, don't try and create an Mbappe narrative, okay? It doesn't matter. It's not happening. Okay, 87, don't even try. Okay. Okay, well, we'll, we'll see what happens tomorrow. That's all I'm going to say. And for. Yeah, see, I feel like. I feel like... Uh, I want to say something. I feel like uh, I feel like this team tactically is better than I've seen the P previous PSG teams, in my opinion, in the past. Like I think this is better than Galtier, better than Pochettino, and I've seen Luis Enrique. He's being very smart with his formations. He's actually done different formations. I think against Sociedad, he played Dembele as a uh, a cam when he's actually a winger. So, so I think he can adapt. Dembele is so, not so, 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 do you think Luis Enrique coaching Barca, knowing Barca? 
participation advantage or teams are radically day difference from when he coached. So that one's play a factor. I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, it's, I think it will play some factor, but I don't know how big of a factor because, you know, it's been a long time. You know, a lot has changed over the years. And a lot of those players that played under Luis Enrique is not really there anymore. So I don't think it's going to – I mean, it will probably play a factor to some extent, but it probably won't be like a huge decisive factor. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just really worried that Javi might mess up tactically tomorrow because I really think Arawa should play a center back. I don't want to see Arawa right back tomorrow because I feel like if Bobby's going to probably play a striker. Um, no, Matt, talk to me, bro. What are you saying about this game? Barca, PSG. Yeah. Yeah, I think Mbappe needs to ball, you know. I think he needs to get into the proper spaces. He needs to finish his chances. So, so basically, you know what you're saying? You're saying you're, you're going to be a PSG fan tomorrow. Is that what you're trying to tell me? No. No. This Barcelona isn't going to win the UCL. It doesn't okay. matter how far they reach. They're just not good enough. Um, and neither are PSG, by the way. So, I don't th see either of them uh, reaching the final. But, yeah, uh, I would... Uh, Actually, because of Luis Enrique, I would still, over the two legs, I would, you know, take PSG as a favorite because I, 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 I just can't trust Javi. I can't trust Javi, you know, and they're dependent on a 17-year-old to bail them out. And you can have as, ma as many as uh, seven players unavailable for the next leg. So uh, there are a lot of things going against them, you know. So, but uh, still... They can get a result in the first leg, even if it's away. All right. Um, but AK, over the two you... legs, uh, yeah, you can't really tell. AK, what are you saying? Yeah. Um, um, I'm going to first start with saying, I mean, HH, if Mbappe is dunked on by a 16-year-old that has chemistry classes. Still has a World Cup at 19 years tomorrow. old. So. Chemistry classes oh. after his UCL. Did the AML win a World Cup at 19? Uh, did Mbappe, yeah, did Mbappe, score, Mbappe miss a tap in the UCL final? But, so, but did the AML uh, win a World Cup at 19, though? Mbappe miss a tap in the UCL yeah, final. Right, so, right, um, right. I, thought, I thought you spoke fluent UCL. It turns out you don't. <laughs> Wait, uh, hey, can, can you say that again? Nah. Is it Mbappe is going to happen in the UCL final? Chain to his chain that AVI. Chain to his chain that AVI. Oh, don't worry. Look at that. Oh, look, yeah. look at Jesus' AVI, man. Look at that AVI. That was disgraceful, man. And okay, one man can do it on his own. Basa, I mean, see, Yamal has a team. No, Mbappe is a one-man army. How many Yamal has? Yamal has sold you a on this team. <laughs> Wait, who scored, the, who scored one of the most iconic UCL oh, winning goals of all time? Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, but AK. <laughs> no, 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 AK. Honestly, no, AK. Yamal has Rafinha on this team. AK, Mbappe's job is way harder than Yamal. Yamal actually yeah, has guys Yamal has Rafinha on this team. Yamal has Gundogan. Who does Mbappe have? MC Rafinha. MC Rafinha from that one. You want me to my quick, AK? Mbappe has Zaire Emery. Zaire Emery. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to give you a yellow card. Oh. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Okay, continue, continue. Tomorrow, okay, continue. This happens tomorrow. I think, I'm going to laugh my ass off. I think, um, it's, I think it will be interesting because I think 87 also said it. Like, PSG are far better tactically this season. Uh, if you saw their game against Sociedad, they were pressing the life out of Sociedad, man. The press is very coordinated, very structured. Um, in league, and they don't. They either win or they draw. They don't seem to lose, and they don't seem to lose much. They only win or they draw. So, I think that is that can be a positive in knockout competition. One thing that might not do well for them is the fact that Hakimi's out, and mm. Hakimi has been one of the top chance clears in that right back position. They don't really have any proper replacement, so I think that might be something. But see, um. Usman Dembele is having articles written about him on the Athletic and Le Keep and all this stuff. Um, keep on say whatever he wants to say, but like, I think PSG have a chance here. I'm not gonna lie. Barca play very high line. I think PSG's ability, PSG's pace on the counter can, you know, take advantage of that. I th so like it, it is an interesting tie. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know who's gonna win it because. Both teams have stuff that go for them. I think Barca have the better midfield. PSG have the better attack, personally. So, so but in this game, though, are you taking PSG to win this game? I'm taking a draw, we will. I don't see either team, you know. A draw at home? Yeah. 
I had two two. I'll go two two. Oh lordy lord. Um Abdullah, what are you saying, bro? Um in my opinion, PS it's all in PSG's hands. They they are the more superior team, in my opinion. P PSG there is no excuses. And PayPal has to step up. He has to step up with all the smoke, Excuse with me. all the hype, with all the hype, with all the hype that you bum lick him. Speak on it. Up, that you shove up his. Whoa, whoa, whoa. okay, Abdallah. 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 Abdallah, relax. Abdallah, relax. Abdallah, please. No, no, no. no. I, I, I was, if you do that, because. You do that, because I'll... If you no, finish that that set that no, sentence, no, H.H. If you give so, someone a, if you give a Muslim a yellow card, I need I must sue you on discrimination charges. So, um, yeah, facts, facts, facts. So, um, well played, well played. so um, just just I'm make sure to see what you're doing, and it's gonna be quick too. So be careful, my my lawyer speaks. It's just you could. Be <laughs> you're in Your your guy better step up. I'm telling you, if you if he if he if you don't go. If, Yes, you don't go through. Ab Ab Abdallah, he's he's, 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 he's saving himself for 2026, bro. What? <laughs> oh my God, H. So, so listen, this this is all training for 20 to 26. He's he's a World Cup guy. Guys, that was basically he basically he fooled all of you. Wait, this I, whole thing of UCL Euros, this is all training for 2026. Can I do you know? something? Yes, sir. Sorry, Can I speak? Up? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, hold on, Abdullah, 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 so he's he's missed a six week tournament. He's missed a six week tournament. No, 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 no. Mr. Walker, the biggest no, tournament of all time. He's, he's Mr. Leap here. No, no, so, Mr. Mr. Walker, the biggest tournament of all time. So six week tournament tax, yeah. Six week tournament tax. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So, 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 so let me say that. So I'm like, if PSG get knocked out, you're gonna judge Mbappe, even though he's a one man yeah, well, army and has no help. He's their best player. He's their best player. He. he, he this is basically Mbappe. I don't know, it's a team game. Football, you you do accept that football is a team game. <laughs> yeah, but he's their best player. He better turn up. There he's is no also the sporting director. Facts, and he's the chairman as well. And he's the manager. Yep, facts. He pretty much runs PSG for money. That's I mean, he pretty fair. much runs so, France. Oh, to be fair, he's so exactly okay. Okay, so 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 just do agree with Abdullah that that's Barcelona going to dunk on PSG. Uh, can you just bring my heavy? <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> you, you know, you know, you know. Let's say right now. Forget Christian. I think right. I know Mbappe may be the most hated. I think because of you. I because think there's actually you. an extreme. Let's see. There are guys who love yeah. Mbappe, and there are guys who despise Mbappe. It's not his fault that he dunks on Messi. Wait, that's wait, not wait. his fault. Wait, wait, the thing is, I liked Mbappe, and then I came and joined this channel, and now I despise Mbappe. So it's all because of one man. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's not lying. Player. Same here. Yeah, because you. I mean, yeah, I felt that... I felt bad for him in the Champions League. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. That's sure crazy. Betsy, oh Betsy, Betsy, come on, Betsy, Betsy. The <laughs> 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 it's you. It's you. It's you. Why people hate Mbappe and why people hate Hazard? It's because of you, my guy. Can you click on J to S every? Killian Saint Mbappe. Killian Saint Mbappe. Look, 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 Yeah, this, this, this. Yeah, okay, guys just want to see this guy fail, which it doesn't make any sense. He's like such a nice, cool guy. It's because of you. Like literally. It, so basically, you're saying that everyone. So basically, you're saying that's only me and Nomad once, once, once on puppets to get this job. Everyone is a Barca fan. Wait, even Nomad's not in the PSG if, train, man. If, if, if you didn't, if you didn't hype up this guy so much, like he's. Wait, 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 wait How can I hype up a 19 year old World Cup winner? Oh my god! Wait, 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 There's no need to hype up a 19 year old World Cup winner. And also, here's the thing. Bro, but you He's he's a World Cup goat, so his role is 2026. But every time he has a bad game, you bring up his World Cup like it doesn't matter. No, no, no. I, I bring up because what he did is so extraordinary. What he's done in two World Cups is so extraordinary. Okay, I didn't okay, see, can we so the reason that you yeah. listen, you can't insult a World Cup goat. That is anti football. No, you, 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 see, you can't I'm disrespect a World Cup goat. After what he did in those after what he did in those two World Cups, you have to respect him. You have to see any disrespect towards a guy with no. the best first World Cups of all time. You you're not a football fan. No, I no, respect Mbappe. No, no, I just don't respect you. 
Yeah, killing well, Hertig. Like, killing Griezmann got carried by that D merchant Pogba. Are we going to talk about and Hertig, that? Yeah. Hertig, the problem, the problem is that you praise Mbappe all the time, but then he has a disaster class against uh, Switzerland, and you don't do a stream. That's why people hate Mbappe so much. Yeah, you don't. You, <laughs> wait, wait. Yeah, it's, Magic City, it's Magic City. It's Magic City when it when it comes to something? you. Okay, okay, okay. We hold okay. Zoom is better than eighty-seven. Zoom is way safe. Okay, okay, okay. But no, it, it's just the thing that here's the thing. I like Mbappe as a player. Like the dude is the dude could be one of the greatest of all time. I mean, hell, he's is looking towards that. But it's just with you, you hype him up so much. Like, but when it comes to other players, you you don't give them the benefit of the doubt whether they're doing good or bad. But when Mbappe, he, he can't do no wrong. That's one thing I don't like about you. That's why I don't like Mbappe now. It's because of stuff like that. Like, it, that's, that's, just, that's just pure hate, man. Bro, yeah, I, bro you a Sith Lord. It is pure hate. Cut it out. Yeah, but, bro, it's you, not Mbappe. Okay, yeah. okay, 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 hold, okay. So, Barry, talk to me. Why, what are you saying, man? No, I hate you, man. See, listen. I don't care about your Mbappe. Because uh, I, I like Mbappe myself. He's a good guy, good player. I, I don't have anything against him. But we need to be honest here. This is his best opportunity, bro. He he does have to play Madrid. He does have to play City, Arsenal, Bayern until the final, the one game. He has an opportunity. You're playing against one of the worst Barca teams that I've witnessed since I've been alive, since I watched the team. The side chick, as you call him, Griezmann, and Dortmund. You can get to the final. He's the best in the world. So he does have to play all those OP great teams until the final. A one game opportunity. If he's as good as what you claim he is, he has to make the final. But see, if he make, I, I don't want it to happen because if it happens, we get knocked out. But if he makes it, I'll root for him. You know. <laughs> wait, hold on. Uh, wait, wait, hold on. Real quick. So, Quab OBG, if Barca win the UCL and Yamal balls, he can win the Ballon d'Or. Well, it depends what happens with the Euros. What if he wins the Euros? Mm -hmm. Uh, I don't think scary hours, but it's not baseball. Wait, let's, wait, let's, wait, wait. Let, let's put it all. Spinner not winning the Euros and so, Barca winning the UCL is doubtful yeah. because wait, put it so this way, City, be... City, City, guys, City winning the UCL. Is, like, wait, is there like an age? Spoiler, let's. Is there like an age requirement you have to be to win the Ballon d'Or? No, I don't think so. No. no. Wait, hold on. So it's going to be the first. So, so, so basically, it would be it, no, 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 him winning because I think I think Ronaldo is still the youngest to win the Ballon d'Or. I think he's the youngest. Oh, fuck Ronaldo. No, 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 the real Ronaldo. Not yes, the uh, fake one from uh, Portugal. <laughs> not, the, not the fake one from Portugal. Guys, it's been well. It's been real. Guys, I'll see. I'll see you tomorrow. One love. See you tomorrow. One love. One love. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out.